Actually, yeah. Okay. I'm actually live! <laughs> am I? Wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't even know if I am. Am I here? Oh, I see something. Hopefully the audio sounds good too. I'm gonna have to check that real quick. I'm gonna check on it on my phone. I see that's working is... Okay, Twitch, we are live. Let me check the audio when it comes to the music, because I honestly don't know when the music is too loud. So let me just check real quick. Okay, it sounds pretty, pretty good. I think we'll leave it at that. That sounds fine. It could go a little higher, but I'm kind of like keeping it in a lighter range. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Or maybe should raise the Dreamlight Valley stuff a little too. Okay, that's what we're rocking with. Hopefully that sounds good. Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't streamed in a while. I'm sorry about that. Uh, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll do better. Today, we're going to be doing some Dreamlight Valley. Then we'll be doing some Witchwood. Doing a little bit of catch up. I love this new Kevin outfit! I look so good! I'm styling! It only makes me upset a little bit, only because I don't know if we're gonna get Kevin then. And I think Kevin would have been such a cool companion. But we're gonna do some Dreamlight Valley. I'm not gonna do any new designs. We're gonna do the Dream Snap. We're gonna maybe rearrange things because I am in love with Belle's Cottage. But hear that? That is crazy. Oh, I'm still on my Discord call. Hold on. Oh, 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 everyone's seeing that now. I was in a Discord call with, uh, Corey. <laughs> and, but yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, I want to rearrange everything when it comes to my forest. My forest and peaceful meadows I'm still not really happy with, so I think I want to do some changes when it comes to that. Um, but then everything else, I think, is just going to be questing, some crafting. We're going to replace a couple things in my park. That's another thing I wanted to put on this necklace and I totally forgot, so I'm going to do that real quick. But yeah, I wanted to put some stuff in the park that is new because there are new craftables and all that. I don't know if I'm going to put any new star path items. It doesn't really fit in my park. So, who knows, to be honest. So, what I'm going to do is I guess I'll just get started with Daisy. The last thing I did with you guys, you if you remember, oh my crash. It was crashing left and right last time. So, now I think this is the level 10 quest, if I'm right. And it seems like I do have quests with Kristoff and Vanellope, so I guess we'll do that too. Um, let me check Scrooge real quick. My mods, I did update my mods. Oh, that's so cool. There are jets training outside my house right now, and it looks so cool. I wish I could show you guys. I don't want to dox myself, but it's really cool. Um, I was outside all day trying to get a good recording of them, and I guess it was because there was like storm clouds around. So they took a break and stopped, oh, and now that I'm I have to stream, <laughs> they're like literally flying over my house now. And I'm like, oh come on, you couldn't do it a little sooner? Oh, I'm not level 10 yet with Daisy, so this is- I'm doing her level 7 quest now. Right, yeah, 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 I'm doing her level- I'm remembering that I think I don't have her to level 10. Hey Captain Ultra, welcome in! Happy- what day is it? Wednesday? Wednesday? No, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday, man. How's it going? Where is good? <laughs> That's America. <laughs> yeah. The sound of freedom. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where is she? I'm gonna have her hang with around with me, I guess. She's almost level ten, so I can do a couple things. She's not even here. Is she eating? Oh, she might be eating. Well, it's hard to tell. She's not there. Usually, like, when they're in, they usually spawn elsewhere, like, far away from me. I'm good, you? I'm good. Tired. Got a little energy drink. Are they coming over again? 
I hear them. They're very slight right now. But earlier, oh my gosh, earlier, we were outside because I was trying to watch them and they flew like literally dead on over the middle of our house. And my cat got so scared, he freaking dashed away. I felt so bad for him. So they're pretty loud today, so we might get disrupted often because they have a show coming up on Saturday. Um, so we just, they're just training today, tomorrow, and then Saturday, and then I think Sunday they fly home. Where is Daisy, dude? Is she shopping? Was she shopping? Was she there? Oswald, Eric? No. Okay, well, we could just go to the plaza. It's easier that way. My hearing equals caca. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might just hear a little bit, of, a little bit of noise. Like you could. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you don't understand. I think I, if I, if I blinked, I would have missed him. He went right past my window. I'm surprised car alarms aren't going off. I find them so cool. I, I think it's just, I think it's crazy dangerous that they're even doing what they do, but it's so cool to see them do it. Oh, it's so cool. I wish I could go outside right now and, like, record some of it. But that's cool. <laughs> the jet just went, <laughs> yeah. Lots of rumbles today. Lots of thunder that's going to be on this stream. I wish I had a straw. Okay. Daisy. Daisy. There was an old game I used to play on PlayStation 3. Oh, I forgot what it was called, oh, but you chill. also uh, fly around in a jet. I think it was free. I think it was something like, called something Ace, if I remember right. Uh, hang on. Woo! Oh yeah, we could do her challenges. So since my mods have been working, um, the currency mod's been working. So every time Aww. I get a hunt, I'm supposed to be getting a hundred, I end up getting a thousand. Oh, there they are again. Man, they like flying over here. Okay, um, there's four of them. That's another thing. There's there's not just one just buzzing around like a bee. There's like four of them, and they're all at part of the same thing. Got a baseball today game. Wish me luck. Good luck. It might rain, so that kind of sucks. Oh, I hate it. When you get it, especially for baseball. Baseball, soccer. I did soccer, and when it rained, it was just like a whole bummer because you train you get prepared for a game and it's all for nothing. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rain for you and you can actually get a game in at least. Uh, challenge. Pants, decor, Moana, Rustic Calm. I'm a little cheater. Seems like I almost got everything in here. Wardrobe, Rustic, Moana. I don't really get too serious with these. I mean, it's fun to do. It's really cool to see all like the Instagram posts of this. Last game, last, my last game, cleats were so muddy. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta hose them down, man. Especially with that red, I feel like it also like stains your clothes more with that red dirt. Mm, where's Moana? There it is. What can I put in? Oh, uh, none of this really matches. I'll just, I'm kind of like being a hoarder with it. <laughs> I just don't want to redesign everything. Okay, maybe I should. It'll give me time to realign everything. So let's get this all. I don't want to change this outfit. I'm actually using it to save an outfit. I don't really care about this one. So let's do a Moana theme. Mm, okay. Moana. There's no, like, bed. So I guess we'll just do this couch as the centerpiece. There you go. Hmm... Man, I was like, it pisses me off. It makes me angry only for the fact that I was outside not that, like, not that long ago looking for them and they just weren't out and now they're just like buzzing around. Uh, I don't know how I want to do this. Let's do... That could work. Eh, yeah, it could work. Um, uh, let's get some beds over on this end. We'll have, like, her stand there. She could be, like, a, I don't know, worker. There you go. And then, little table. Mm, let's take that out. 
put this in. That looks good. Uh, let's see. Don't need those. And like a light. Oh, there's lights here. Let's take those out. Let's take that. That. That looks good. And then let's put like a stool for people who work on them. Okay, that's that looks good. And then still saying I'm missing Moana. Oh, maybe for the clothes. Do I really want to? Like, I don't know. I'm just like not into doing it right now. Uh, something Moana that I could put on Kevin. <laughs> that could be great. Let's see. Can I put glasses? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just a little plumage. <laughs> There we go. Did I do it, Daisy? Did I do it? Yeah. Did I complete it? No. <gasps> what do you mean? Oh, rustic. Dang it. Making my life hard. Mm. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That is is that a new species? Yeah. It's the cool Kevin species. Uh what am I missing? Rustic. There we go. What can I do that's gonna rustify this? Is there like rustic socks I can put on? Uh, I could put on gloves. I don't like it. Okay, we'll put on the gloves. A right, back item. You can't see the back item. Alright. Edit! Daisy! Daisy! Did I do it now? Aww. Uh, did I complete it? Let's go! Another free thousand to my name. Hold on, let me get comfortable. Let's take off the backpack. Um, for this dream snap, I don't really know what I want to do. I saw a couple ideas. I think the one I liked the most was a Mad Hatter idea. I think that one was pretty cute. So we might do something of that note. We'll do it probably last, because I kind of want to ride out my little Kevin hood. Uh, talk to Minnie. I did complete the star path. I am 100% done with that now, which I am very happy with. Is Minnie in one of these? No. Is she in here? I don't see her in there. See, like, Minnie's still, like, always disappearing in here. Is she at home? <gasps> there she is. Yeah, it doesn't show her on the map. Hey, what are you doing in here? You look so cute. Oh, I love the pink dress on her. I'm so glad uh, you came you're by. just who I was looking for. I'm guessing Daisy already told you that I'm writing a special report about your efforts against the forgetting. I'd love for the Dreamlight Gazette's readers to see things through your eyes, or rather, your lens. Could you snap a few photos for me? <sighs> I was thinking it could be easy. Uh, it, it could be a photo essay that pairs with my piece. Sure. Wonderful. My article focuses on the way that you brought the pillar of friendship back to its former glory. How you tackled the riddles of the mystic cave and how you freed us from the curse. So, could you take a picture of the pillar of friendship? Any statue in the mystical cave? Okay, alright, thank you. They will really compliment my story. <laughs> Back in you. Alright, see you in a bit, Captain. Uh... Pillar of friendship. Is this the pillar of friendship? You think I remember what these pillars are? Alright, cheese. Cheese, cheese. Don't I look so pretty? It, ooh, ooh. A model. Can my pet move on, please? Elsewhere. Go elsewhere. Okay. Or stare at the camera, too! That's fine. A uh, giant willow tree. So cool. So cool. I'm gonna be awing over them all freaking day. It's probably gonna be really annoying for you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, over here? Yeah. That's a good willow tree photo. And any statue in the mystical cave. I still wonder why we can't move the tree house in the forgotten lands because. It's in the way. It's always in the way now, and I'm not a big fan of it. So, can I even go in here? Eh, yes. Okay. Down here. A statue, right? 
Doesn't matter. Let's get this booger in it. <laughs> cool statue. Look at that. <laughs> Good. All right, cool. Good. I uh for these songs I literally just look up copyright free background music and one of them is just like it is copyright and I'm like you scam me but this one seems to be good I don't remember getting told that it's not mini I wonder why it doesn't show the icon uh you're back I can't wait to see your wonderful pictures here Alright. Oh, look at the little gems on her gloves. Oh, these are amazing. You're very talented. I know. I love being a reporter. With the Dreamlike Gazette coming back, I'm sure you'll get more opportunities soon. Thank you. Our readers will be fascinated. You know what, Minnie? It's been a while. I should check on Daisy's advice box near her house and see if any villagers submitted some questions. Good idea. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Alright. Uh, ooh, Nala has... You're a very good leader. For me. It's another thing I still gotta do now. I'm totally fine with Scramble Coin. I do think some people might find it boring, but like it is so satisfying, especially when you know how to play. Okay, uh, this is kind of bad. Oh, uh, I could do Gaston. Gaston is not really good for this right now. Let's just do him. A little scroogey woochy. I'll do a Gaston if a line of three comes up. Well, there you go. There's my line of three. I mean, yeah, it's... Should definitely use it. And then... Go here. I also try to use Cinderella when I can. I feel like she's also a very good one to use. Oh, there goes my movement speed. Okay, Gaston has only one... Two coins. Okay, so Gaston will go up here. Scrooge will go here. Cindy can go collect these. There we go. I want to get the new Mike Wazowski. It seems very overpowered if you know how to play it properly. It's a little finicky how you play it, but I think it could work. She'll get that. He'll get... He could just come back down here. I... Uh... He'll get the two. Unless I replace him and get the three. I could do that. And then do do. And then boom. Easy. Look at that. Almost 20 more. Okay. Alright. Please be a gold here. Let's go. <gasps> the two gold are here. Oh me, oh my. Alright, so what we'll do is we just need to get. Yeah, there's no really good option to get like a bunch. Unless I move her down and then he collects this. And then she can get this and that. Maybe that's the move just to get a little bit of extra coin. It's no different actually. Mmm. Now we'll do it. He goes there. She moves there, and then he just moves here. Doesn't matter. Oh, look at that line of four. That's satisfying. Wish we can get, like, uh, nothing really changing, but just, like, this little outer border to different biomes. That would be really cute. That would be super cute. Uh, let me do a couple things real quick. Let's see. Can I do a little bit of this? A little bit of that. I'm gonna open my Discord real quick. And let's see. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me. How far along am I? I am- I got Daisy, but I want to get Mike. And it seems like Oswald is- Oswald could be really good. He could. I wonder- maybe I can replace Eve with Oswald? I don't know, but if you can get like a really good line of coins, that's- that's good. He can collect a whole bunch. Alright, uh, Daisy. Check out- oh, I have to go to 
courtyard. I am going to move Daisy's house to the plaza. I'm actually thinking about replacing Gaston's house with Daisy's house. And Gaston could go in the forest. I'm thinking about changing a whole lot of stuff up. Uh, mainly because I do want that little area that we were working on in the other stream where we did this. I feel like the mushroom house being right across or over here would go so well with it. So that's the thought process. Or like an Alice in Wonderland type theme. But I'm definitely thinking about removing the mushroom house from um, the forest. Plus, like, I want to get that cottage from Belle. I don't know how big is it. <laughs> okay, so I might not move the mushroom house if I don't have room. Look at it! It's so pretty, but it's massive. What a build. Oh, oh is it bigger than the... Oh, <laughs> dang. I didn't realize Belle's dad was rich, rich, being able to afford a house bigger than the Cave of Wonders. Dang. Oh, man. Talk about... I don't know. I feel like scaling needs to happen. Where's the advice box? I don't see no... Ad uh -huh. Items have been sent to your mailbox. Pick up the Ask Daisy letters from the ground. Goodness. This one's a long one. Alright. Uh, is it this? Oh yeah, for Dream Snaps we did really well with the flower one. Really well. We got 4,000. Oh, here we go. Oh, I guess because they couldn't fall, maybe? Hmm. But yeah, for Dream Snaps, we did... 4, we got... Rank 3,737. Satisfying number. Um, so that's pretty good. It helped save my money. Because <laughs> I was so close to buying a pack this week. Because I'm out! I'm like, so I only can afford a singular house skin. And if you know what you saw in leaks... Ooh, 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 that's a whole lot. All right, here you go. Yeah. Thanks for bringing these to me. Oh, I can't wait to see what the letters say. It's time to help some villagers. Hopefully good. Uh, uh. You get grape juice out of linen with seltzer? <laughs> Befriend rabbits with fresh carrots, obviously. Give me a challenge. <laughs> here we go. Uh, most of these require simple advice, but I think two of them need direct action. Uh, aren't they supposed to be anonymous? Mm -hmm. Some are. Some sign their names, and sometimes I can just tell. We are a fairly small village, after all. I mean, we got 40 people, yeah. Now, our first Ask Daisy challenge are... Drumroll, please! Vanellope and Kristoff. Vanellope- Oh, that makes sense. Vanellope wrote you a letter. What does she want? <laughs> Her letter says she wants to take my game to the next level and be a total boss, just like yours truly, I bet. It's obvious what she needs. A new wardrobe to help her feel confident and powerful. Yeah, that's what it is. You want to make over Vanellope? Sometimes it doesn't need to be complicated. A new wardrobe is the next level. Trust me. Okay. So, new wardrobe for Vanellope. What about Kristoff? He wants to do something romantic for Anna. And wondering which flowers to pick. The answer, of course, is all of them. And chocolate, too. One of the many things Anna and I have in common. Yes to big gestures. <laughs> A fellow romantic, I knew it. What do you need me to do? Let's talk to Minnie about designing a boss dress for Vanellope. As for Kristoff, could you make sure that Arendelle, the castle, is surrounded by flowers and prepare lots of chocolate meals for Anna? Oh, and when you're done, please check the advice box. Oh, yeah, there might be more letters. Ooh, okay. Alright, uh, let's just... Vanellope's one came out first. Is Vanellope here? Usually whenever he starts a quest, it brings them over to me. But I guess not. Oh, I'm doing this one. Drop or place flowers all around Arendelle Castle in water. Oh, but my... Oh, but my castle's kind of cool. I can't drop it on stone. Oh no. Alright, let me see if I can dupe some good flowers and then we'll drop them and see. Okay, um, let's see. 
here are some flowers. Uh, we'll do white. White. Blue. I don't know how well this is going to work. It's probably also just going to go here. Because this iceberg keeps staying here. I hate it. It's so annoying. I'm going to have to put furniture here or something to prevent it. It's so bad. Alright. Split. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drops. <laughs> yep. What did I say? Uh, and then split. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drop. Can't drop any items here. Come on, over here. There you go. Water these bad boys. Yep. Yep. Okay. What? Why isn't the watering counting? Why does it say five? Oh no. Is it because it's raining? That's seven. Eight. Nine. Why didn't these count? Uh why is like why is it counting and not counting? What okay, what if I just like water? It's not counting! Is it because it's raining? I'm so confused. Why is it not counting? Not ten. I don't know. Let's see. We'll drop another set of five. Oh, I do need to feed the snake today, right? The snake is out today. Still missing the black and gray monkey. 6 p.m. to 12 p.m. Alright. Wait, what? It's 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., right? Oh, no. 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Wait! That's how quick it is? Oh, my gosh. I was up at 10. Oh, I was up at 10 and I missed it. Hey. Uh, okay, I remember your name. It's Al I, I, It's Alexander, right? I think I got it. I think I remembered. I remembered after almost a week. Alexand? Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you? Because I remember in my head I was going to call you, like, short it as Alex, but I think it's Alexan. There we go, 12. That doesn't count. Why no count? Do I have to, like, do it one at a time? This is, like, frustrating. Okay, let's see. Split, done, drop, water. Alright, looks like we're doing this seven times. Split, drop water a uh, split drop water oh that didn't count oh my bad my bad that didn't count <laughs> split drop water pick up uh split drop water you're good that's good Glad you're having a good day, man. Welcome in. Drop. Two more. Okay, two more. You know, anything for Dreamlight Valley to work, you know? And last one. There you go, Kristoff. Hope you're happy dancing and kissing my feet after that. Cook any meal for co with Coco for Anna. Okay. Uh, I have a house over here somewhere, don't I? Can I just... Here. I still want to do this as a spa. I need to do that. Ooh, I need to do that. Okay, cocoa time. Uh, isn't there like chocolate chip cookies I can just do? I feel like that's very easy. Chocolate macarons. How many do I need to make? Ten. Okay, I don't want to really use like my low-end ingredients. So let's do... There we go. Okay, so it's at 22. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to get Witchwood 
done. I don't know if I'm going to do one or two chapters because it seems like the chapters are taking a lot longer. But I definitely need to knock out a chapter today. There's a couple, what, there's like a bowl. We haven't done bowl. We haven't done leech. I think there's a couple more. And that's literally like the first quarter of the game. So we need to like pick it up. I might make it, might do a whole wildermyth day. It's just that wildermyth has so much talking in it that I, I will literally run my voice like down to the ground. <laughs> and we do not need that. Bring the meals you cooked, Kristoff. Easy. I can do that. Just give me two seconds and I'll be there. Gosh, I feel like my hair is just like... Oh, it's because I was outside all day sweating trying to look at these jets flying over. Okie dokie. Kristoff! Kristoff, I got your... Ooh, you sitting over here. Got your things. Here you go. Oh, hey. Here you go, Kristoff. A bunch of treats to sweep Anna off her feet. Courtesy of Ask Daisy in the Dreamlight Gazette. Sure. Okay, okay, hold on. The flowers, the chocolate, it's way too much. I wrote to Daisy asking for advice on making a special bouquet. I know some flowers have meanings, and she's so glamorous. I thought she'd be a great person to ask, but... Uh -huh. Anna saw all the flowers in front of the castle and thought I was trying to apologize for something. Mm -hmm. That, and she's a little worried we're under siege by magical flowers! I had to convince her it was just meant to be a nice gesture and not some sort of garden invasion. <laughs> I knew it, but Daisy insisted. I think you mean thanks so much. I knew it. Just wanted some advice on which flowers to pick for for my fiance. Wife! I guess we're before that. Could you tell Daisy thanks? But she kinda went a little overboard. I don't know her well too well. You know I gotta Aww, so long. it's okay. I also forgot I wanna buy Ooh, I'm out of energy. I want to buy um the rest of the clothing. I think I don't have all the clothing yet, so. Let me buy that real quick. And there's supposed to be an event on the 15th, I believe. And I think that's Wednesday. So that will be fun. Uh, how's the happy couple? Was Anna swept off her feet? Not exactly, Anna. Anna's a little worried about the sudden appearances of all these flowers. And Kristoff thinks you went too far. And what do you think? <laughs> I think both of you have a point. I agree with Kristoff. Uh, I agree with Kristoff. Oh well, you can't please everyone, right? You just do your best with what you have. I'm sure one day it will be a funny story we all laugh about. Thanks for your help. Okay, yeah, I want to talk to you though. Uh, shop. Clothing. Yeah, I'm still missing this. I don't get why this is a thousand. That's a little ridiculous in my opinion, it being straight up a thousand. Maybe because it's like the guys or like people who dress this way, it's cool, but I don't I don't see it. I also look like a blue bla blueberry clown right now. Uh bye. Bye. Uh bye. And I guess I'll have to wait until the next two days to get the rest. Cool. Alright. Talk to Minnie. Uh, you know, at the end of the Wreck-It Ralph, Vanellope wasn't a big fan of this. I don't think she's gonna be... I hate how Minnie's not displayed. It's a good thing I know where she lives. Mm, Minnie. There she is. Oh, she's so pretty in front of her house. Oh, it's always good to see you, and I know why you're here. Daisy told me about Vanellope's request, and I've gotten started on a wonderful new design. It's a dress that will make her feel like a boss, just like she asked. Dress? It will be perfect publicity for your fashion line. Mine now would be Vanellope was asking for. Oh, I know she doesn't usually wear dresses, but part of the fun of fashion is trying new things and seeing how they make you feel. This dress could help Vanellope find a whole new way to express herself. If you say so, I guess it couldn't hurt to try. I just need a few materials to make it. All right, Minnie, give me a list and I'll bring you all the materials for Vanellope's dress. That would be wonderful, help, wonderfully helpful. Thank you. Where's the list? Ugh, cold ingots. Do I have? Oh, I do for the, do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Okay, because that's where my feeding the animals, because I've been trying to work on the memories for eating the critters. I don't think I'm doing too hot on that end. 
So I was trying to work on it. It's night thorns, fishing, gardening, watering. Where's my feeding critters? Fishing, gardening, that's what I need to do. It's two. Uh, where else? Three. Mm, four. Yeah. I have a lot of feeding memories that I have not worked on. So that's kind of what I've been working on lately. On my own time. Trying to feed them all once a day. It is annoying, especially if you have things built up, because then they can hide behind it. So I've been trying to fill in gaps with the plants from Eternity Isle, which uh, helps a lot, but sometimes they just spawn back there. And the only way you can get them out is, um, I guess I haven't tried teleporting out of, I've only logged in and out and it worked, but I haven't tried teleporting out of the, the valley to see if that would work. Like, to Eternity Isle. Maybe that'll work next time. Two, three. No! My gold. Oh, why do I have so much gold? Okay. Mini! Oh, boy. It was... So I should just, like, open up my craft room and just let them go at it. Just take whatever you need. I don't need to go get it for you. I'm not a mailman. Um... <laughs> I just love this Kevin outfit so much. Oh, I wish we could get, like, a baby Kevin pet. That would be adorable. Excuse me. Here you go. I need a little help. For you. Daisy's here too. Ah. Wonderful. This is everything I need. Just a moment. Okay. Ooh. And here it is. The perfect dress to make Vanellope feel like a boss. Just like she wanted. Oh, I hope she likes it. Ha! <laughs> Ooh, uh, this just is next level. Maybe Vanellope will like to try, will like trying something new. That's the spirit. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Good luck. Oh, I don't think she's gonna like it. I don't think she's gonna a fan of this. But yeah, I was gonna put, since we're in the forest, I was gonna put, maybe it could fit, maybe. I was gonna put the Bell's Cottage here. Take out this mushroom house could fit. I think it could definitely fit here. Because I do want to take the mad tea party and place it where I have the flower stuff. I think that could also be a really good spot for it. And I want to put Gaston's house somewhere in the forest if I could fit it. Penelope! Eagle! Uh, what is this? <laughs> Daisy's answer to your question. She thinks a change of wardrobe will help you take it to the next level and make you feel like a boss like you asked. This is bonkers. When I said I wanted to level up and be more like a boss, I thought she'd teach me how to investigate mysteries, run a business. Sheesh, I even tie knots that never come undone like she does with her bows. <laughs> I definitely didn't mean a makeover. Yeah, I know. Tried to warn Daisy about this. Oh, it's nice to have a friend who knows me so well. It's a cool outfit and all, but it's just not me. And I like being me. I love my candy sprinkled hair. What, where are your sprinkles, by the way? I see, like... Like, there's one. Another one. And another one. But, like, they're all blacked out right now. Except for, like, the two big ones and then the small blue one. I don't know. Did, her, did she have sprinkles on her knot, too? I don't think so. But I think her sprinkles are definitely, like, missing right now. Um, hey, look at me being all sure of myself. Sweet mother of monkey milk. Hey, this did help me reach a new level. That's not how Daisy thought. Daisy did so well. Let me guess. Penelope's thrilled and feels like she could take on the world in her new dress. Not exactly. It wasn't what she had in mind. I think she wants to spend time with you. She hates fancy dresses. Okay, I, it wasn't what she had in mind. She likes how she looks. I think she wanted to learn other things from you. Maybe more about reporting and tying unbreakable knots? Huh. Well, why didn't she just say so? That's just kind of how Vanellope talks. Hmm. You know, maybe I'll ask Vanellope to be a junior reporter for the Dreamlight Gazette. Now that's a good idea. And I'll see if I can find another use for that dress. Do you think it would fit on any of the critters in the valley? I could even start a critter costume business. Yeah, we love you, Daisy. You and your entrepreneurial ways. Oh, I just have to return to you? Alright. Uh -huh. What's new? Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Check on the advice box again. Uh, fine. Oh, 
Dokuli Dokuli. Where is it? It's back here, right? Can I move it? I'm gonna move it. I can't move it! Why is it placed there? Okay. I have been searching a while. Yeah, you put it in the worst spot, Daisy. I have to go to my mailbox to pick it up, and that's not really helpful at all to anyone. These, I'm still trying to get my Nightthorn orbs too. Alright, alright, alright. Thank you. <sighs> Bring the extra daisy letter to Daisy. <laughs> extra ass daisy letter. I love how they fix the flowers though. Happy about that. Let's see what we have. Hmm, this is not a question for Ask Daisy. What is it? A letter from Mother Gothel. Challenging my competence to give it to give advice to anyone. Classic Mother Gothel. Uh, Mother Gothel has always been difficult. The best thing to do is ignore her. She just wants a reaction. So you plan to do nothing? Oh. I didn't say that. In my opinion, her con constant pettiness comes from one thing. She needs to take the time to relax and appreciate life in the valley. I imagine that could be difficult living in the glade. I bet if we made the glade a more enjoyable place, she'd be more at peace. Then she wouldn't feel the need to nitpick so much. That sounds reasonable. I think she's a lost cause. Nah, let's give it a try. Let's make her a nice place to get fresh air. We can add some outdoor seating, an outdoor table, and some decor. She might not want our help, but she's getting it anyway. Alright. I kind of have my glade. My glade's not fully done. I still wanted to do- No. My freaking game crash! Why? Why? Oh. Well, I didn't do anything big. Just, just questing. So I can just like easily spam through it. I forget, I have to like save after every step. Cause somehow this game just like goes kaput every freaking time. I also do not have my task manager up, so I gotta check on that. There we go. We'll put that over here. Okay. <sighs> Let's get back into it. I wonder also why we didn't get the new loading screen. I know they ha they're gonna put a patch out soon because they do have a game breaking bug. I was very fortunate enough to not have the 3D glasses in my store and feel inclined to buy it, but apparently if you buy the 3D glasses in the store before you do the Oswald quest to build his house, the whole game just goes kaput. So very, very fortunate. Uh, what is the definition of my first rule? Never heard of it. What is my first rule? I have no idea what my first rule in chat is. Uh, I don't even know how to check my rules. Or is it on my first rule on my panel? I think that's what you mean. Let's see. Uh, what is it? No discrimination? Uh, you never heard of the word discrimination? I mean, it's just like, you know, talking down on someone. Don't be an egg something. Where? Oh, in the chat, don't be an egg sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, now that chat rule, yeah, that that's a chat rule I, I put there. Just just don't be mean, you know, don't be, don't be rude to people. Basically, I think rude people are just, you know, people who suck eggs. I can't even look at my chat rules. How do I even check my chat rules? I see, like, channel modes, preference mode, task, can clear chat, but anyways, <laughs> welcome in Lost. I have no idea how to check that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it in my settings? Gosh, it tells you how good of a streamer I am. I have no idea how to check it. But yeah, if it's something about an egg something, that's mostly why. <laughs> it's good to know I learned something new today. <laughs> yeah. It's always good to learn. Uh, let's save. Okay, so it's saved right here. And I can check Scrooge again because... My hourly mod is working, so yay! Yay! Hopefully something good. I've been getting a lot of Oswald stuff lately. So that's been really fun. Uh, nothing new, nothing new. Uh, let's see. We already have this daisy counter. Gosh, I love the daisy stuff. It's so cute. I love the purples and all that. Uh, heart, good, good. Good, good, good. I have this couch. And I have the rest of that. Alright, nothing new. 
Um, I didn't even know this game was still around. I quit playing it over a year ago. Really? Uh, wow. I played. Yeah, I, I've been playing this game since day one. Uh, looks good. Yeah, it's. It's. I feel like it's turning around slowly but surely. There's a lot more to do if you stopped playing a year ago. Um, you definitely heard of Dream Snaps then, I think. Uh, but yeah, they they have Daisy. There's more customization. Um, and right now I'm just working on Daisy's quest line, and then we're gonna do a little bit of decorating before we switch over to Witchwood. It's been fun. Uh, it has definitely been a drag. There were definitely moments where I was playing this game just once a week. Right now I've been playing it daily on my own. Stop playing because it was the same thing over and over. I get that. <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing over and over, especially for the star path, because there's not much you can do with a star path. Um, there's not a lot of challenges that you can do. That would be good. Um, so yeah, I definitely, I definitely get that. It's very repeat. The only thing that helps change it up is the, uh, the dream snaps. That's the only thing that we can do, really. Alright, I'm just gonna add a bunch of junk. I'm, I actually do have a plan for Mother Gothel's house. I just haven't gotten to it. This popsicle bench is super cute. Let's see. Anything else? Just put, I, I think it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put three of everything. Put a picnic bench here. Gothel, you're gonna have so much seating and a table. And then, but for my mental health at the moment, I'm going to play this again. It's relaxing. I suggest it. I suggest it. It's very good. It's like, it's peaceful. There's nothing really rushing you. Just take your time and enjoy it. Um, there you go, Gothel. Very nice and pretty. Oh. That wasn't enough casual decor, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Was that not enough? Uh, here, you have an umbrella. <laughs> this umbrella is also really awkward. Can it, it can go over a certain limit of furniture. Uh, maybe... Is it co-op yet? There is... Okay, so there is a multiplayer function. So I guess, yes. You can finally use all of your tools. So, yeah, there is definitely... A co-op function where you can mess around with tools nothing when it comes to like decorating with each other or anything like that but you could take photos with each other you both can dig water crops do whatever you need so I would say yes it's officially co-op because before it was just visiting people's valleys um, another cool thing that you can do which I think is more of my favorite is that you can go on a ride with your camera and you can ride the ride around and I think that's cool there's no no camera option. <laughs> Look at Kevin! <laughs> His head! Woo -hoo! I'm having fun! Yeah, but there's no no camera option, but at least you can do this. I personally don't have visitors around, but they're definitely making it to where, like, if you are a person who does do multiplayer, it's 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 better. It's getting better. Uh, you also have uh, this. This is the portal to do multiplayer. This is what you need. You gotta do a Vanellope quest for it. What well, you can go on rides that just blew my mind. Yeah, there's certain rides you can and can't go on. You can go on the new ride in the premium shop, the Slinky ride. You can go on this one. I know that. You can go on the teacup ride. You cannot go on Woody's carousel. You can go on the Ferris wheel. You cannot go on Tower of Terror. So that's a cool thing they did with for this update since it was another parks themed star path. Um, what's another feature? Another feature is you can share, for multiplayer, if you're concerned, you can share your designs. Like, you can have someone go into this shop that Daisy gives you, Daisy's Boutique, and you can share your this Touch of Magic designs. Uh, you can share, like, this is a dress that I worked on. These are not my designs. I copied off of Instagram. Do not ever give me credit, ever. Uh, I did, th like, there's this dress, the water dress, a bubble dress... I think this is like the Vanessa dress from Ariel and then like you could display furniture as well and people can come in and visit your valley and save and you can go to other people's valleys and save their touch of magic. Wow, a lot has changed in here. Yeah, they're, they're slowly listening to people, I feel like, but very slowly. Um, the premium shop is chocked full of items to the teeth 
and I don't know. There was not much when it came to Act 2 for Eternity Isle. Some people are still saying, oh, just wait, there's going to be more. I don't see that happening. I think this Eternity Isle is a very small update. But yeah, lots of changes, which is fun. I think my favorite so far is Daisy. She's just so cute. Where is Mother Gothel? Okay, she's up the stairs. Gothel, I did it. Do you like it? What a pleasure. Uh, let me guess. You've come to scold me about the note I sent Daisy. Well, go ahead. Somehow I'm always the bad guy for simply telling the truth. Not at all. Daisy wanted you to know we've made some changes to the Glade of Trust to make it more relaxing for you. Uh, how do you feel about that? Underwhelmed. I'm sure these relaxing additions are absolute eyesores. I'll be back to tell you what I think. That was fast. So. Oh, well, are you still here? Well, I guess it's not too horrendous. I still don't think she should be doing or doling out advice, but I can imagine reading a copy of the Dreamlight Gazette on my new furniture <laughs> and then using it as kindling for my fireplace. Aren't you so sweet? Oh, of course they need to do they need to make money somehow. I think the last time I played Buzz and Woody just came out. Oh, that was that was Christmas. That was definitely that was a Christmas one, right? So let me just give you a review of characters. We have Bell and Beast. I think Bell and Beast came after. We have Bell and Beast. We have Fairy Godmother. Uh, we have Daisy, Mike, and Sully. Uh, who else? We have Jack Skellington. Uh, and then Eternity Isle has its own thing. Eternity Isle is a separate DLC with Gaston, Oswald, Rapunzel, and Eve. And we are going to get Jafar in this DLC as well. But that's going to be a few months from now. Um, so yeah, you 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 got a lot of gameplay. I'll tell you that you got a lot of gameplay. <laughs> so at least you'll be entertained in that way. Belle, I love that dress. Belle, you look so cute. I wish it came with a necklace though. Uh, not Jack. Oh man, that's amazing. Well, yeah, Jack is cool. He's tall. I think she was impressed, but didn't want to say it. Woo! Oh, thank you for all your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Even if things didn't go according to plan, it was oodles of fun. Ah. And the first issue of the new and approved Dreamlight Gazette is almost ready. Uh, it's going to be a big hit in the village. I agree. There it is again. We share the same instinct for business. I love that about us. I'm sure everyone will adore your photo essay. Mini special report on the forgetting and a brand new edition of the Ask Daisy column. Uh -huh. Everything in the valley will be reading it. Oh, one last thing. I want to give you that beautiful advice box you built. Who knows? We might use it again in the future. Yeah, I'm going to put that next to her house when I move her house around. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, happy to be streaming again. Took me a minute to build up to that. And there's loud jets outside. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay. So, it shouldn't be that hard to level up Daisy. Did I not have her hang out with me? Oh, she's running. Um, let's see. Let me give Daisy some special gifts. I can give her... What does she like to do right now? She wants red bell flower, red fruit sorbet, and gingerbread house. Okay. That'll help me level her up, and then I'll go get some... Those dream light shards? I forgot what they're called. Red fruit sorbet. Uh, red fruit sorbet. Eagle. And then... Gingerbread house. With it being 9pm, that's one thing I don't hear our jets! Yeah! Yeah, it's a little, it's a little early over here. There we go. And what was it? What was the last item? What was the last item? Red flower. Okay. Ooh, whoop, right here. Hopefully her quest isn't too long. All right, Daisy. Right. Uh, something to give you, and then I'll talk to her and play Dream. What's it called? Scramble Coin, because I know that levels them up too. 
Uh, something. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, I was just thinking about romantic relationships. Minnie loves small, sweet gestures, like when Mickey brings her a bouquet of wildflowers. Right. But I love grand gestures. I once had Donald's name written in fireworks for his birthday. Wow. Oh. What do you think the most important part of a relationship is? Having interests in common, trust, being willing to share French fries. Uh, trust. That's so important. Aww. You can't have a good relationship without a solid foundation of trust. True! Uh, let's see. Aww. I have something to give you. There you go. Between humid weather, oh. weather and the rain, oh. it's a terrible evening. Dang! Humid, like, I like good rain. I'm a, I'm a rain person, but humidity is my bane of existence. Like, when it's, when it, when I used to be in Florida, um, the freaking moment I go outside, I already felt myself, like, breaking into a sweat. I cannot bear the humidity of Flora, Florida. Even now, like, whenever I go down to Florida for, like, a trip or whatever, I end up getting actually sick now. Because of just the humidity. It just messes me up. I am sorry you have to deal with that. Uh, oh, shoot. She has Oswald. Man, Oswald is so cool. Look at that. He go ba ba ba. That would be so easy for him. Uh, we're going to stop that, though. You are not collecting those coins. And you'll go here. Okay. Oh. Elsa's a tough one, too, because she just cancels your move outright. He'll go there, and then she can go here. Mmm, this is not good. I'm from California, where it's snowed and cold. Uh, to the UK, where it's hot and humid. Oh, man, the story. Not stories, but, like, I always hear that UK is, like, just, like, the gray country because of, um... Not country, but like just a big gray area because of all the clouds there. I am sorry. I am uh, I'm from the U.S., so I don't experience that all the way. I think I'm gonna put her here, and she's gonna collect. Mm, I don't. Mm, I don't know. Actually, it'll be no different if I put him here. She goes here, and then he goes. Oh, boom, boom, and then he goes up here. Ooh, ooh, see, like, that would have been great for Oswald. Oh, wait, <laughs> no, this is awful. Ah, uh, shoot, uh, we're gonna... Oh, no, I don't know what to do here. I would say out of the 365 days in a year. It's cloudy and humid 300 days. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Alright, we'll do that. And then that. I, just to get the gold coins so then freaking Daisy doesn't collect them. This is a hard match. Ooh, we might get that easily. Oh, but we don't have Cindy anymore. Shoot! Oh, never mind. Mikey got it. This is difficult. All right, we're going to put Rapunzel here. She's going to click that. Big money. Scrooge is going to get that, so let's just... There. I don't know. That was bad. We got enough, though. We got 30. Ain't no way she's going to get 14. But I enjoy it. It's way cheaper, and people are much happier. That I can see, especially the cheaper part, because I can't imagine trying to live in Cali. That even for rent... If you if you can't afford a house, cause a ha hello. Oh, I was in the abyss. Okay, all right. But yeah, Cali's expensive. Um, I can't imagine. And I've heard like UK. I feel like it's also much safer, and it has less of a drug issue. All right, Daisy. Are you happy with me yet? No. Okay. Let's put you... And it's probably better food, too. Like, healthier food. I think, because America also has less, uh, rules. I did see an article. I don't know if the article's true, but I did see an article about 
them banning foods or like looking into foods that um that are like bannable also thank you for the follow i just saw that <laughs> thank you for the follow but like they're looking into like things like lucky charms they're looking into things like gatorade oreos they're looking into all these snacks because the ingredients of them are carcinogenic or like causing failure organ failure in mice now because i do believe i i would not be shocked if like since how popular they are they're just trying to see how much money they can get by throwing like the most garbage amount of chemicals in food i was paying five thousand a month for a one bedroom apartment in the uk i got a house for eighty five thousand. that's insane that is insane Dude, I live in, like, butt-frick nowhere, and I can't even get a house near that price. Oh, oh, and Daisy crashed my game. Thanks, Daisy. I can't imagine. That's insane. Well, yeah, that's a good move. I would say 10% of American food is in the UK. That's it. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking it's, like, a lot healthier. Alright, let's see. If it crashes one more time, I'm just gonna switch to Witchwood, and then we'll, uh... We'll do a chapter or two of that. Let me see. I can probably find it on my phone. Actually, I can probably find it on my Discord. I put it in a chat somewhere. Here we go. So I saw this in an article. I don't know how true it is. Because, you know, some articles you, don't, you just barely... I barely trust articles. I barely trust anything. And it's free healthcare. Is it good healthcare? Or is it like... I heard that there's like long waits... But, like, you got, these are the ones that are being reviewed, I think, not really banned right now. So, Lucky Charms, Tricks, Fruit Loops, the big one, Flaming Hot Cheetos, Doritos, Ruffles, Oreos, like, all the very popular sugar-coated death stuff. Look at this, adrenal tumors, lung cancer, kidney tumors, benzene, cancer cells... <laughs> Okay. So wait, so for this Tostitos cheese dip, it causes cancer to grow faster. That's insane. It's just hype. Oh no. Gatorade, the drink for sports and health is linked to cancer and hyperactivity. And then in Europe, products must carry a warning label for, I guess, all these cake baking related stuff. That's crazy. Crazy. And this is like all the stuff that, you know, parents feed their kids. Like, that's all the stuff that's aimed towards children, right? S absolutely bonkers. Alright, how behind am I? Consider a career in design. Oh, you have no. Taste. Okay, so I did the gifting. It didn't do the scramble coin. I don't think the scramble coin was worth it. Bye-bye. Alright, let's, let's hang out. I could just take you to my room. But yeah, I don't know if they're gonna get banned. I do know that there are, like, there are alternatives that they could use. It's just that it costs more. We have Doritos and Hot Cheetos, but I haven't seen anything else on that page. And healthcare is amazing, and the wait times are really crazy. But when you have, when you have an appointment, you keep that appointment. That's good. Because literally our place, like, I'm literally trying to schedule a doctor's appointment now. And they keep rescheduling it. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh... I know that, like, certain brands do different ingredients, um, mainly for, like, the food coloring stuff, because it seems like America, they'll just allow you to put, literally, urine, it seems like, in there if you need to dye something yellow, um, but, like, in other countries, they'll put something that's more healthier, and I think that's what America is hopefully aiming for, hopefully, because those are very popular snacks, and I can't imagine... They want to lose all those people who just munch on them daily. Especially Hot Cheetos. Oh my gosh. Yeah! Level 10, yay! Alright, now we can save. Alright, Daisy. I am ready for that dress. Just realized that's a very cute, uh... Motif. Let me... Graphics. No. Just need to save. Save. Alright, what do you want? Aww. 
What would you say to throwing a party to celebrate our amazing village? Yay, another one! Fantastic, yeah. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh. The way I see it, you can throw a party for just about any reason. Big events, little wins, everything should be celebrated. Exactly. Oh. Wow, we are really similar! So glad we see eye to eye. Now I've already done most of the planning, so there are just a few details to take care of. I ordered the gala banquet from Remy. Would you be a doll and go get it for me? I've put the finishing touches on the gala's secret surprise location. I'll do it! You're an absolute peach! Please talk to Remy as soon as you can. Will do, buddy boo! I noticed that when I lived in the US, I was feeling really sluggish and no energy. Within a year of moving to UK, I felt so much better. See, I, I see a lot of people saying that. A lot of people. And it's not even like you change your diet or anything. It's just like because of the ingredients of the food that certain countries allow because your because UK doesn't allow all the garbage that America allows to pump into people. And it's really starting to show and it looks like we might be turning for the better, but I doubt it's gonna see anything. I try my best to avoid all that nonsense, but you know, I it's just a freaking craving at this point because of all the sugar and salt they pump in it. Where's Remy? He's not here. Uh, Remy, here you are, Baba. Hello. Excuse me, but I could use a human. Ah, style. Daisy told me you come by to get the food mm. for the gala. Mm. Here it is. Tink. Yeah. Uh, bon appetit. Uh, merci beaucoup. Working on your French, huh? Tres magnifique. Uh, now if you'll excuse me, I'll need to get back to the kitchen. I've got some cold blocks of butter just waiting to transform into croissants. Oh yeah, because you fold butter into croissants. Uh. All right, here you go, Daisy. Eagle. Mmm, this looks delicious. Woo! Chef Remy does it again. Aww. And thanks to you, I was able to put the finishing touches on the setup for the gala. I was happy to help. Aww. You as are. Now it's time to get ready for the event itself. Aww. Why don't you put on something fabulous that makes you feel your best? Don't be afraid to wear something bold. I always Aww. do. The only guideline for the gala is think elegant. You don't think I'm elegant, Daisy? You don't think this is elegance right now? This is peak elegance. I am the queen. I am Kevin. You could start with that dots and daisies piece we gave you. No. Don't make me wear the mom outfit. I don't want to. My friend was just telling me that it's so bad now in the US that she pays almost $20 for a small meal at a fast food place. Yeah, it's bad. Great. Like, I think fries, even at McDonald's, are getting to like $3. It's... It's not, you're, like, eating at, like, both, it's getting to the point where eating out versus eating at home, they're both expensive. I, you might as well eat at home. I try to eat at home as best as I can, but yeah, the prices are getting insane. I can't, mm -mm. It helps, it helps you steer clear from fast food, I'll tell you that. Wear the shirts by Dots and Daisies. I don't want to. I want to be Kevin. Okay, so I'll use these mannequins. I use this one, right? Interact. Edit. Okay, so that's my outfit. And then I'll wear this one. Am I elegant? <laughs> oh, blueberry. Am I not elegant? There we go. Let's go. Uh, I mean, we have McDonald's and Starbucks, but the menus are totally different and much more healthy. I am a sucker for Starbucks because their drinks are so good. Their drinks have so much sugar in it, though. Their drinks have too much freaking sugar in it. But yeah, I know the menus are different. Everywhere else, the menus look so good. And then you have McDonald's here, which is just like just deep fried fatty foods, man. This is a party. This is a party. Kristoff isn't wearing anything elegant, Daisy. Why did I have to change? I'm out. I'm going to get my Kevin outfit. I don't care. Starbucks, I get a bacon Gouda sandwich, so like I'm not even asking to be healthy then. But yeah, the, the amount of sugar they put in a lot of their drinks. I always hear that people this refer to like Starbucks as like the fake coffee go. place because they barely like do proper coffee. Because proper coffee doesn't use like that much amount of sugar. I'm cursed because I can't drink anything with caffeine in it because it makes me really sleepy. <laughs> so you get for drinking caffeine when you're this so young. 
I for me it's just like all the sodas like like sodas have like no effect on me because like I drank so much as a kid I'm sticking to G fuel that actually this helps a little bit just to get me going through for the stream all right let's see what do you want I'm so glad you, came you look by. wonderful just love your outfit thank you why do I have glasses on the outfit right back at you mini why, thank you. Oh, I saved you a slice of cheesecake. Now go mingle. Enjoy the gala. Aw, mini Cheesecake for me. Thank you. Where did I get these glasses from? Take them off. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm done. I, I mean, what do you want? Oh, hey. This kind of reminds me of the official royal functions in Arendelle. I always dreamed of mm -hmm. palace parties. Yeah, they could be nice, but all the formality can get pretty old quickly. Especially since foreign dignitaries tend to tell the same stories over and over. I think I've heard Zarian Ambassador tell me how a flamingo stole his shoe at least five times. See ya. Aww. Hello. Hey, I came for the cheesecake, but now I'm stuck at this snooze fest. Are you bored as bored as me? Uh, why are you bored? People are just eating and talking. There aren't even games in at this shindig. <laughs> hey, I know how we can liven things up. A race! Come on, let's go slide down every railing in this joint. That's See cute. Ya. Uh, do you think Daisy's having a good time? Does she need anything? Should I do something for her? Aw, don't worry. Relax, yeah. it's fine. Are you sure? I better go check on that there's enough cheesecake. What is with the cheesecake? Yeah. Don't come visit the UK. That's what happened to me. I visited there a few times. Three years later, I moved there. I've been to the UK once, but I was very young. So I guess it didn't have that effect on me. But yeah, trust me, I'm, I'm I got here. I'm in mili my well my my husband's in military, so we're we're staying. <laughs> we're 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 kinda stuck here for a little bit. Oh, the gal is a roaring success, and I can can I say your outfit looks fabulous. Oh. Why thank you. I want to remember this moment forever. Let's take a picture. Goodbye. Oh boy. Picture time. Everyone look at the camera. Oh, or everyone stand in front of each other. Yep, that's the right move. Yep, everyone in front of each other, please. We need more people in front of each other. I'll be in first. Er well, I didn't need to see your tail feathers. Nice thing for the service. Oh, thank you. Uh, I did my four years and got out. Yeah, he... Five years. We're five years in? Guys, can we, uh, can we... Alright, alright, cheese! That was... Who splooged? Huh? Who splooged? That's actually cute, the confetti. That's adorable. Uh well, well thank you for your service. Is. Duh. You did you did your time huh? too. Thank you for that. What happened? I heard a loud bang and the next thing glitter everywhere. From the look of it, it said I say your gala has been a glitter bombed. Who would do such a thing? Who would dare? Oh. What? Glitter bombs are fine! Oh. Is it a career for him? Mm, not really not really no we plan on getting out soon uh we have to launch an investigation immediately and find whoever's responsible for this let me help you i've always wanted to be a detective Aww. well consider yourself on the case let's start by talking with our guests i'll talk to minnie and donald you go see Kristoff and vanellope then we'll share our intel i'll go i'll go do just that and while i'm at it i'll try to wash away the glitter somehow no i like the glitter Come on! Glitter bombing's fun! Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, fine. Bye bye. What do you Bye. want? What'd you do? Wow, I was expecting this gala to end with a bang, but not a literal one. It wasn't in Daisy's plan, it was just a prank. I'm trying to piece together what might have happened. <laughs> what is your alibi? Alibi? Me? Well, I spent the whole gala talking with the other guests. Mm -hmm. They told me you helped launch their dots in Daisy's business and the Dream Like Gazette. Wow. And Donald was really grateful because you settled an issue between him and Daisy. Something about a wardrobe and a hammer? I'm not sure I got it all. I guess the only thing I could tell you for sure is that everyone around here likes you. Let's go. Thanks, Kristoff. Pretty sure you're innocent. What? Oh, yeah. Glitter thing? Totally forgot. We'll go look with the investigation. Bye. Thanks. My dad did 35 years crazy in the military, so he kind of forced me into it. Dang. Hello. Uh, look at that glitter everywhere. <laughs> Whatever could have happened. Seems someone planted a glitter bomb to prank the gala. Would you know anything about that? Who, me? I'm just this innocent, adorable little kid enjoying some cheesecake. 
Yeah, 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 lie better, Penelope. You seemed really bored. Hey, being bored isn't a crime. I'll tell you who's really responsible for this glitter disaster. Minnie. Minnie? Yeah, she looks all spice and everything nice, but she's a mastermind. She actually likes glitter. It must be her or Kristoff. Don't you think it's weird he's so calm? Like all the time? If you ask me, he's hiding something. Or what about Donald? What about Donald? He could have easily tripped and exploded something with glitter inside. Clumsy city, am I right? Sounds like you're guessing or covering something up. You didn't see anything? No, I had my eyes closed. I was trying to mess with the photo. I knew it would drive Daisy bonkers. I'm keeping an eye on you. You can keep both eyes on me. Just remember the culprit is anyone but me. Alright, whatever. That's crazy though. Doing being forced into doing four years. Cause that's that that's commitment. Especially like depending on like I guess what branch you do. I I mean, I'm, at least you got through it. I hope it wasn't- I hope it was at least you? enjoyable. What did you find out from the, our party guests turned suspects? About Vanellope. Vanellope was very bored for the whole party, and she tried to pin the glitter bomb on literally everyone else. <laughs> very suspicious. Hmm. Vanellope could be our troublemaker, but I don't want to assume anything just yet. About Kristoff. Kristoff just said a bunch of nice stuff about me. <laughs> Too many nice things! Suspicious! He's not the culprit. Uh -huh. I agree. This isn't his style. What did you find out? Well, I know it wasn't Donald. He really wanted the party to go well for me. But I was talking to Minnie and I had a thought. What if the guilty party was someone who didn't attend the party? Like who? My first thought was Mother Gothel because of her Ask Daisy letter. But the evidence points elsewhere. Scrooge McDuck. What's your evidence? Oh. The glitter bomb was in a box among the furniture I rented from him for the gala. He probably thought it would be funny. It would be a funny prank. Or knowing him, he might have thought it would be an impressive addition to the party. Let me talk to him. Uh, I'll determine if he's innocent or not. Oh, oh it's him. You'll see. Alright, Nancy Drew. Nancy Daisy. I'll figure it out. At least I got to wear my Kevin outfit. <laughs> I got my Kevin outfit on. Holy cow, the weather sucks here. Where am I? In the UK? Who brought the UK to me? Here's Scroogey. Ah, I heard there was some sort of kerfuffle up in the castle. How can I help you? Daisy thinks you tried to sabotage her gala with a glitter bomb. Uh, the glitter was in a box from your store. <laughs> Sparkle me spats! If I sent a box of glitter with the rest of what Daisy rented, she would have opened it while she was getting ready for her party. That so-called glitter bomb would have gone off well before at the end of the event. Mmm... The culprit hid the glitter in an empty box. Precisely, detective. Someone's trying to cover their tracks, but not very well. Here's a real lead for you. If you want to find out who used the glitter to ruin Daisy's gala, you should follow the glitter on Dazzle Beach. Huh? How would you know it's at Dazzle Beach? How, how would you know? I was taking my daily preambulation there, and someone dropped an entire shipment of glitter. It's blended with the sand. But it forms a very clear trail. I'll bet my last star coin that if you follow it, you'll find the hideout of the real culprit. Okay. I need to see that for myself on Investigate Dazzle Beach. Bye -bye now. Who's putting glitter in the beach? I bet it's Stitch. I think it's Stitch. It's easily, like, Stitch is known as the prankster and the fact that he's not being, like, I don't know, called into it immediately. Let's see. Stitchy. You doing some no-nos? Glitter. It's raining! How am I supposed to see glitter in rain? Uh, a trail of glitter. Yep. Glitter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Where? Uh, is it in the grassy area? I don't see it being the grassy area. No. Uh, no. Nope. 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 Here? How am I supposed to see glitter? I have everything in my, <laughs> in my Dazzle Beach built. Is it supposed to be under something? Did I build over it? 
Is it near the entrance? Oh, I see why people were asking help for this now because I have no idea where to look. Are these bananas upside down? Is that how bananas are grow? Do they grow upside down? Why do these bananas look upside down? Uh, glitter. Can I look at my quests? I keep clicking the wrong thing. Uh, screws and ducks. Tor- no, sun glitter. Mm, I don't- I see Mike's eye glops. Ah, uh, glitter. Is this glitter? No, right? It wouldn't be. No, definitely not. I don't know where it's pointing me to. That is not glitter. <laughs> Dang it. No, no, cover back up, please. There we go. Okay. See, no. No glitter. Uh, can't tell if it's like the gray sky that's like covering it up. I see no glitter there. I mean, it has to be obvious, right? Hmm. I go sleep. Bye bye. See you later, Alexan. Have a good night. <gasps> there. Ah. First cave. I didn't think it would be all the way over here. Ursula. No, that's Stitch. That's Stitch hair. Right? It is stinky. Tap the blue fur, cover the ground. Yeah. Stitch. Hi. Bring the clue to Daisy. Is she in the castle still? Oh, I have no idea where she is. She might be in the castle still. Oh no, she's over here. Let's save. Oh my gosh, I want to save. Save. All right, we saved. I keep forgetting. All right, here you go. It was Stitch. I called it. He did a glitter prank. Just who I That's such a callback. He did a glitter prank. I don't know if I have the picture. I think he did a glitter prank on Donald for like a Discord event. There was like a quick little Discord event. Oh, I don't know if I have the photo. And someone did like a little like... Like a little 3D version of it. Oh, I don't know if I have it. I'm like looking at my pictures I have. <laughs> no, I don't. Aww. Yeah, but Stitch did a glitter prank once. And, uh, <laughs> and it was actually really cool that someone did like a little art thing on it. Yeah, I can't find it. Dang. It's a really good photo too. I have it somewhere on my computer. Um. Yeah, I'm looking through. I don't see it at all. Unless I have it saved elsewhere, which, uh... That's, that's very possible, but I do not think I'm ready to go out and look for it. I'll look in one last spot. I have another spot. Uh, it doesn't look like it's here either. Mmm. Dang! But yeah, there there was a little Discord event and like you would have to like give responses and it would give you codes and one of them was like I think Stitch did a glitter bomb on Donald and you had to help him or you had to help him prank and uh, someone did like a little rendition with like a little glitter all over Donald. It was really cute. This definitely narrows the, our suspect list. What do you mean narrows? Unless it's me, but I have feathers. It has to be Stitch. I think you're right, but I'm certain he wasn't working alone. Mm -hmm. According to Donald, Stitch is a master prankster. I think he's recruited Vanellope as his partner. Just recently, someone switched every, every one of Goofy's fishing lures for gummy worms. Aww. Someone also filled Remy's salt shakers with sugar. And I found blue fiber at every scene. I didn't realize it was fur. I was thinking fluffy sweater. <laughs> 
Uh, sugar and blue fur. Oh, yeah, Sully has blue fur. So, Scrooge was innocent. Uh, sugar and... Yeah, it's them. I guess I'm just the latest victim in their huh? prank spree. Uh, see, I say we retaliate. What do we do now? Oh. They need to be stopped before they get anger someone who would, let's say, turn them into algae. Ooh. Uh, this calls for a sting. You convince them you want on in on their next prank and arrange a meeting. I'll surprise them and give them a piece of my mind. Devious plan. I love it. Uh, I'm not gonna factor. Do you think it's a little mean? Believe me, I, it would be meaner to wait for them to get in real trouble. I'll talk to Stitch, convince him to meet me in Curse Cave with Penelope. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Stitch? You causing problems, my guy? Where are you? You little twerp. There you are. My little demon. Hello. Hello. How can Stitch help? I know about the glitter prank you and Penelope pulled at Daisy's Gala. Ooh. Ooga taba. No, don't worry. I just want in. So funny. Nice work. Ujuba. Can you and Penelope meet me at the Cursed Cave? We'll plan the biggest prank ever. I hate lying. Uh, because it makes absolute sense, doesn't it? I <laughs> say it does. Please. <laughs> yes. Is is okay? Yes. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? It wouldn't be suspicious if I wasn't okay. And I'm not suspicious. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okie taka. <laughs> Stitch and Penelope will meet in the curse cave. Great. Whoo. Good job. Good job, me. Very convincing. Very, very convincing. We, we let him know. Uh, cursed cave. Let's see. I'm gonna run out of speed. No, I don't wanna run out. No! I want a mount. I want a mount. That would be so cool. Give me a mount, please. That would be so freaking cool. Alright, Daisy. Let's operate Sting. I actually think I'm gonna wear the cute dress. What is going on with that air? Oh, my under feather area. That looks weird. I. Oh, return to Daisy. I. <laughs> what a fumble. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Daisy, Daisy, Baba. Isn't that a song? Like, isn't it like one of those creepy old TikTok songs? Like, Daisy, Daisy, ah, ba, 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 ba. Uh, where? Dude, why are you all the way here? I realize I never see Jack Skellington anymore. I need to redecorate this place. This place is so ugly. I think this is this and like sunlight is one of the ugliest places I have. But it's because this won't move. It would look so cool if I could just do what I want. I want to rearrange everything. A big thing I do want to rearrange is this castle. I just want to scoop everything, eliminate this, put some trees, and then actually make use of this side. Maybe put some fencing to help border it up. But yeah, I do want this to look good. It's just very, very hard to. It would also probably help center this too. Yeah. <gasps> My moonstone chest! I saw that. I definitely need all the moonies I can get now. Uh, did Daisy walk away? She's still here. Daisy! Hey! Get out of there because I can't talk to you while you're in here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you're being pushed behind the house. Alright, let's talk. <laughs> So did Stitch agree to meet you in the cursed cave with an alibi? Yes, he did. Aww. Then it's time to spring up the trap. Come on, let's go to the cursed cave together. <laughs> yeah, meet you, meet you there. <sighs> she doesn't have teleporting power. Hey, okay, maybe she does. All right, Daisy. Oh, Stitch, hey, I thought you were supposed to be in the cursed <laughs> cave. Don't, don't mind me. I'm just gonna beat you there. Oh, that's where the glitter was. That was literally underneath the hammock. I could not have ever seen that. Alright. Ha ha! Slap him around! Daisy! Because Vanessa sold us out! I mean... Nice day, huh, Daisy? Oh. I can't believe oh. you do! Ha <laughs> ha Get him! Who knew you had such a talent for showmanship? Oh! What? You sound... Not angry with us? I'm confused. Are you kidding? Your prank means the villagers will talk about my gala for years! Oh! 
In fact, I like to talk Aww. spectacles with you for my next party. <laughs> really? We're all ears. Nice. Okay, so she's using them for good. That that I'm totally fine with that. Can I keep the glitter? Thanks so much. You were instrumental in cracking the case of the glittered gala. Oh. Minnie and I are working on a big article about the gala, the prank, and your investigation work for the Dreamlight Gazette. And I think Penelope and Stitch will think twice before pranking again. Let's go! I'm glad you forgave uh -huh. them. If there's anything I've learned, you can be reasonable and passionate. You just need to know when to when to be which. Uh, I gotta know. What do you have in mind for them? I want them to help Minnie and me announce our next collection for Dots and Daisies. It's going to be a fabulous show. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, here, take this as a thank you. You're the first to have it in the valley, a Dots and Daisies custom design. Oh. We tried to capture your kindness and your elegance. I hope you like it. Now this dress is what I'm talking about. I love it. I thank you, you. thank you. It's so cute. Oh man, it's giving me like 50s diner and the bow is so cute too. But we'll be Kevin. It's raining freaking cats and dogs. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do my dream snap. Oh, never mind. Ha-ha! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Okay, so my dream snap is going to be fairly simple. Uh, oh, I do get to keep the glitter. Is it bad that I kind of want to just, like, keep everything? I love it. It's so fun. Um, I like to keep the little details and stuff. Like, it keeps memories. So, I do want to do a Mad Hatter. I think I'm going to have a bunch of bunnies around, if I can, and make it look good. Nice um, but yeah, I, I think I'm just going to do... It's. I don't have a lot of ideas for this one. I'm going to be honest. It was either I was going to do uh, Mad Hatter or like something in front of my Toy Story area. I don't know. Maybe... Uh, Maybe I'll put, like, a little pole or something. But yeah, maybe I'll do a little two options. But I think the one I want to do more is the Mad Hatter-themed area. Hopefully I can make it look good. Like, if I were to pose, it- maybe- okay, let's move this chair, actually. This chair- yeah, that chair will help cover a lot out of the way. It could work! It, it could, maybe, hmm, I don't, I just don't know. I don't know what really will look best. Um, but yeah, it's, it's either gonna be, like, this backdrop. I'll just do two options and we'll compare and contrast. It's not gonna hurt anyone. Um, uh, I didn't think that questing was gonna take a long time, so maybe we'll do decorating next time. Because I do want to get into some witch wood. Um, so let me get dressed. Mad Hatter outfit. Mm, I need a hat. What does the Mad Hatter look like? Maybe I should like pull up a picture of him. Mad Hatter. Disney. Um, now, okay, so I'm having a couple images. There's the obviously the version of him in the cartoon version, but there's also the live action version. I think we might do the live action version just because it's more doable. I think it's more a little more doable. So we'll see. Live action. Um let me pull up a Ooh, I these are his outfits? Oh no. Um, okay, I got I got some outfit going on now. I got some outfit going on for him. All right, so let's let's do our best to recreate it. I I don't know. We'll just do a compare and contrast. Um, he has red curly hair. Not that long. Hmm, that might be better off. Could do that. That could work. Oh, that's not gonna work either. Maybe we'll do this. I think that's more fitting. Then we'll do. Definitely got like the. Yeah, that's good. 
Um, he has a very, very, very pale face. But I don't think I'm gonna keep the face paint on. I don't think that helps. So we're just gonna take the face paint off. Okay, and then let's see. For eyes, he has like yellowish green eyes. So let's minimize that and then like as yellowish green as I can make it. Yep. Uh, maybe I should change my skin color. <laughs> maybe I should change my skin color. Uh, as white as I can be. See, like, it doesn't fit, but we'll make it work. Oh, I have no eyebrows. I was like, where the freak are my eyebrows? Uh, orange? Where's- there's no orange eyebrow? Why is there no orange eyebrow? Okay, we'll just do that. He has some thickum schmickum eyebrows, but I don't really like changing my character much because then I end up forgetting. Okay, so... Let's see, earrings? He doesn't have earrings, so we'll just take those out. And then we'll uh, do the eye makeup. Here we go. He definitely has like big. We're gonna do. Main color is like a bright red with like a light pink. Actually, a darker red to be honest. I think that's that's what that's what we're gonna do. Gosh, the orange eyebrows, the non-orange eyebrows bother me. It's like that. Or that. Or just red. I mean, just red could work, but no, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it! We'll do that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And then, let's see. Lips. He definitely has some little cute lipstick on. Mm, we're just gonna do bright, brighter. They're not real. Oh, they're a little sheeny and shiny. Okay, so that's that. And he has like just a dark red outfit. It's hard to see this outfit. He's got finger. He's got like a brown coat. Mm. It's because it's like his worn down outfit. It doesn't really help his case. Okay, so if I were to look at it, it looks like he has like a long. Could I do this? Oh, I don't know if it's good enough. I might just do like this. I think that's more fitting. And then we can see if I have like some sort of ruffle top. Ooh. Ooh, is that better? This might be better. So it's like this or this. It depends on what shirt I can find. Ooh, I don't know. It's like a brown red thing. Let me see red brown. Um... Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, this is it. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, and then undershirt is like grayish, blackish. It's looking like like a button up. I wish we had like a shirt with just like the ruffle thing in the front. I feel like that would work so well right now. That could work. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, we'll do that. And then, oh, this one has the bow. Oh, see, this is where I wish we had a search bar so I could just see all the variations we have of that. Do I have another one that's like maybe like a little darker? Oh, ooh. I think that's it. There's a little clipping, but I think we can live with a little clipping. And then maybe, maybe we'll just like do this variation. Yeah, that helps it a little bit more. The bow helps. The bow helps a lot. Pants? I can't see his freaking pants. What pants is he wearing? I don't see a lot of pants. I need to see his pants. I see his pants now. Okay, pants. He's wearing like gray pants. That's kind of that's kind of it. Uh, um, maybe more on the, on the 
No, it's definitely more faded. Yeah, no, I think those are the pants. I don't know. Is it good? I can't tell. Shoes. He has boots. He has, like, some light brown yellowish boots. Just put on a couple of these just to see. Okay, so we don't really have a lot of things that scream light brown and yellowish, but we have those. And I think those work. And then he does have gloves. Fingerless gloves, I think. Mm. Yeah, he has like brown fingerless gloves. Let's see. Mm, brown fingerless gloves. Brown fingerless gloves. Okay, the gray might work. The green will help, actually. I don't know why. I kind of tie green to brown. Yeah, there's no black or anything. So this is the Mad Hatter look. I'm not mad at it. I can't lie. I'm not mad at it. Um, he does have some, like, I think we're missing, like, some, like, cheek stuff. If we can get some, like, contour. Let's see. Can I? It does not look like contour at all. <laughs> it just looks, she just looks tired. But maybe darkening it will just help. Oh, freckles. Oh no, what did I have my freckles at? Uh, that looks fine. Oh, I think my freckles... Uh, fine, that's fine. So that's the look. I think that's fine. Uh, and then I have the tea stuff and all that. So now let's try to get some... I think that can work. Alright, next step is we're gonna get red, yellow, brown. We're gonna find that pet house. The pet houses, we're gonna use that. We're gonna get some pets in here. Here they are. We're gonna see if we can shove up some bunnies in the beginning area. And hopefully that will help out with uh with some stuff. Okay, bunny, bunny. Uh, more bunnies. Come on, give me more bunnies. Ooh, top hat bunny? I might hold top hat bunny. Top hat bunny might be my pet for this one. Um, and then we'll do some whimsical creatures like those. Yeah, that will fit. I think that will fit good. Okay, so those are all the bunnies. I don't know if we'll be able to see it. They probably won't even show up. That's fine. Just to have them my security sure so we'll have all these little kooky ones kind of just walking around top hat bunnies mine there you go all the costume ones oh cute okay and then I'm gonna have top hat bunny this actually might work really good Oh, I hope it does well. I'm actually really happy with this. I don't think I'm going to do a second option. This top hat bunny goes so well with it. Okay. Let's get the photo it lined up. I think that's good. And then... Okay, so you know what? We need to hold Bun Bun a little bit this way. Oh, I think that's so good. Okay, I just need to like... Oh, no, that was fine. I could adjust it, actually. So this, this. Oh, it looks so good! Just trying to adjust it how I want it. No. Kind of wish there was like a second bunny pose variation. Okay, and then let's kind of make it how we want it. Okay. I don't want to crop out all the... How? I think that looks pretty good. Do I want to do a filter? Filters kind of always help. Maybe I want something down here. Okay, we'll do this as like a... Oh, I like 
it so much, actually. Mm. That's, like, hard to see, I feel like. This is, like, it fits, though. I think I like it. I think I- Oh, no! I'm missing playful! No! No, what am I missing? That's playful. Oh, give me something like socks. Give me socks. Playful socks, please. Oh, I don't want to ruin this outfit. I really like it. Oh, playful socks. Playful socks. Playful socks. I can't have anything on my wrist right now. Um... Okay, there's a lot of playful items. I might get away with something. Let's see. Dang it, I should have definitely checked. I don't see socks! Oh, I'm screwed! Okay, uh, next best thing is a back item, because I think I can easily hide a back item as long as it doesn't have straps. Uh, or like the straps fit in really well. Like something like this. The straps fit in well with that one. I think I might do that. I thought I saw something up here that had like- Oh, there we go, strapless. Woody's little thing is- Coming in clutch right now. No, it's a little too seen. I need it a little more hidden, please. Oh no, I don't like it. All right, we'll do the back item. Mm, back. Uh -huh, darker brown. Just something that's hidden. Something that's flat. Mm. Okay, let's see. If I put it in the angle I want it, take a photo. That's much better. Much, much better. Okay. And that should easily clear my, uh... There we go. But yeah, I think I might want to add flowers. Mmm... Actually, it might not need flowers. Actually, this kind of frame helps. Okay, so since the, I'm kind of very close in, I wonder if I can replace these with this? Or is it going to be... Whoa, can I really... Oh no, it's going to remove that. Yep, no. Can I put this like... Oh no, it's so going to be seen. Alright, let me just... I think this is not going to help the case either. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I just want the pets to like... really show up in there here. So let me take out all the bunnies. Put them in here. Oh, they're spawning out though. Hmm. I wonder why. Hmm. They have room to spawn inside. Hmm. Okay, so what if I put, like, something stupid here? And then I try respawning them. Now they're spawning in the back. <laughs> okay, so what if I keep lining it? Eventually they gotta spawn in the front, right? This is how it works? Is this how is this how math goes? There they are. Okay, and now let's get more in here. Another bunny, and then that was all that. So now what about these guys? Nope, I gotta put my lamps.
I don't want to pet you guys. <laughs> Please move. Now I hope they don't look too cluttered. I'm hoping they'll like kind of spread out and look a little nicer. Now we get back into position. Hopefully the pets like help fill in everything properly. And then bring the little guy out. Get my personal angle. Can you guys like... Well, you know what? I tried. <laughs> Mm, I need her, like, showing a little bit more this way. Yeah, better. You pets suck! I, like, purposely want you guys to, like, show up a little bit and you guys do nothing. Oh, we got one pet. We got one pet moving around here. Okay. And then... I want it to be, like, so perfect. I think that's good. I kind of want to make it all nice and pale. Kind of like how he is in the movie. Not like that. Yeah, like that. Mm, I think I don't like that position. Uh, no. Should I get flowers in here? I feel like it's like so empty here. Or maybe flowers would be too much. Okay, well, I'll submit this. And then maybe I'll get some flowers or something going on here. Let's see. Foliage. Just just a little bit of flowers. Nothing crazy. There. And then face her so I can get the same angle. How did I have the angle? I feel like I'm like messing up. Um, pictures. Picture my valley. Let's see. I can pull up that photo this way. I like saving the photos so I can easily pull it up. Okay, so let's go. I don't need to know about the free game this week game. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'd, I won't use the black bars. Okay, so what I'm gonna do actually is I, I want her to be like somewhat in the middle. I need to move these flowers down just one more. There we go. Should have done that in the first place. There we go. Pet. There we go. That's much easier for me to work with. And then... That's cute. I think that's cute. Uh, mm, I need. Th I think we need more of like the table angle. I feel like she's not facing the way I had her. She needs to be a little bit more that way. I'm so. P <laughs> this is one of the things I hate about being a perfectionist. <laughs> it will literally scratch my brain until I get this right. It'll irk me. Mm. Maybe a little zoom out. 
I like to zoom in more. Okay, filter. Okay, I think I like that more. I think that looks good. It's simple. I don't know what else to do for the design. I think I like it. I think it'll work. Uh, I hope people get the reference. If not, it's okay. It's an old movie, and I'm fine being called old. But you know what? We all live and learn with these new themes, and I'm happy to at least have new themes, because last time I just kind of did the same thing as I did before, and it did well, but, you know, these new themes are fun. So, I'm happy with this. Submit it. And then... There we go. Sweet. Okay, now let's clean this up. And then I'm gonna go and take a restroom break, and then we will switch over to Witchwood. I did not expect <laughs> to be sitting here playing Dreamland Valley for two hours. So we'll just do a quick chapter of Witchwood. Um, but yeah, that was fun. And I will leave you with the premium shop. I don't know, maybe that's entertaining for everyone. But yeah, I will be right back. Wow, the premium shop didn't even load, huh? <laughs> of course it didn't. I just read while I was streaming. I guess they uh, announced it, but they do plan on doing a hot fix for all this. Let me put my camera back on. Hi. Um, they plan on doing a hot fix to fix the nothing appearing in the premium shop. They didn't add a date. They said uh, when they can next week. So hopefully we see some good changes. Um, let me check Scrooge's shop one more time before I go. Um, I'm not gonna change back into Kevin. I just dolled myself up for this, so I'm gonna keep it for now. It's kind of cool seeing, like, a live-action hatter walking around right now. Uh, here we go. And then, yeah, we'll do some Witchwood, which will be fun. I don't know what chapter I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do Leech. Leech is, like, one of my favorites, though. Like, I wanna save it for last. 
But if we do leech, that's fine. I'll live. Oh, keep the dokali. Hope you have hope, a no. day. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Dang! Nothing! Oh well. I have all that over there. Oh, okay. So, we'll leave it at that. And let's change it off to some which would. Which would will be fun. Hmm. Let's see. Which would. Nope, that's Wildermyth. Keep forgetting when I put all this stuff. Here it is. Which would. And then okay and let me stop this music because I know the game has its own music so I won't mess with that and then let me so the other bunch of things too uh, here we go Man, Witchwood came out in 2021. Very fun game. I enjoy Witchwood a lot. Sweet. Okay. How does the game sound? It can go a little louder. Just a little bit. That's fine. Maybe it's a little too loud. That's fine. Okay. Uh, last time we played... Oh, man. Did we do the bear? Last time we played, was it the bear? I think it was the bear. No, it was the snake. I remember now. It was the snake. Um, okay, so we have ox in the fields and leech in the swamp. We will do... We'll do leech. Um, I, my profile... Or my... Uh, Thumbnail has <laughs> leech, so I guess I should follow what it says. Um, no! Gosh, where do we go? I keep forgetting the controls of this game, and it hinders me so much. Uh, is the swamp... Yep, the swamp's up here. Okay. Ooh, ooh, my bad, my bad. Oh, lovely. Um, uh, how do I get into my- here we go. Journal. Uh, okay. Visit the sick house west of the swamp. Oh yeah, because we talked to Granny over here, right? Let me get some of her stuff. Yeah, thank you, Granny. Sorry. Feel better! West. I think it's just directly over here. I'm just gonna collect all this as I go. Oh, I feel like I'm not close enough to the mic. I feel like it's, uh, I don't need the music overpowering me, and I feel I'm already nervous. Okay. Ah, no! Where? Where, 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 where? Up here? West. How west? Can't be down here. No, it's not down there. Up here? That's where the troll is. Gosh, how do I... Oh, it's it's actually out of this map. Okay, okay, okay. Let's grab some stuff while on the way. We're gonna have to make a bunch of traps. There we go. To the sick house! Ah, oh. Hold on now! This sick house is full to the brim with festering with dis and festering with disease. Don't you know there's a deadly plague going around? A plague, you say? This is the first I've heard of it. Oh, it's terrible. It affects the young and the old, the healthy and infirm alike. We're so swamped with patience, I can barely catch my breath. So what are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be inside, tending to the ill? We've just got so many bodies piling up. Someone has to bury them before they spread sickness further. She drops her voice to a whisper, looking ashamed. It's gotten so crowded, I've had to dump some in the swamp. That seems unethical. But don't worry, the leech is inside working her miracles on other patients. They couldn't be in better hands. The leech? That's the doctor of this place? The best in the land! I don't dare think about how much worse it would be without her skills. 
I need to speak to her. I'm checking up on someone who came through here. Sorry, I cannot in good conscience allow a person of your... Uh, years to enter such an infectious space without proper inoculation. But with all the patients, we're low on medicine and I'm afraid I don't have any to spare. Bah! What's a simple booster shot made from anyway? There's plenty of medicinal ingredients right here in the swamp. I'll go get them myself. Well, it's a pretty basic prescription. If you bring me the components, I'll be able to mix and administer it. Then you can go inside. I'll need three milligrams of bug ichor extract, five grams of toxic thistle powder, and some lazy grass to numb the pain. Oh, pain, you say? Mm. Okay, lady. Toxic thistle. That's... I think I just need the shears for that one. I'll be back! To ease the pain. Oh, here we go. Yay! Wink. I'll get some more, too. While I'm here... Come here, Froggy! Come here! Ha. A little trowel here, too. Alright, I got my stuff. Booster me up, baby! I am ready to be boosted. Here you go. Uh, Bug Iker. You place a sloshing jar of Iker in the nurse's hands. She inspects it suspiciously, but doesn't ask where it came from! I need three milligrams of- Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thistle. You snap off a few spiny thistles and pass them to the nurse. She is careful not to prick herself on the sharp ends. And lazy grass. The nurse takes the dry grasses you have been so careful to keep intact and immediately crushes them into powder. The nurse nods at you, gathering all the ingredients into a small, hand-sized mortar. You hold your breath as she smashes everything into a slimy, stinky liquid. Not the most pleasant stuff, but I can assure you it beats growing lumps where no lumps should be. Speak for yourself. One can never have enough lumps. <laughs> the nurse shrugs at you, sucking up the bubbling mixture into an oversized syringe. She gestures for you to hold out your arm. Oh, I hate needles. Oh, woohoo. I hate it. After stabbing into your flesh several times, stop. It's freaking. Oh, she fails to find any veins with the point of the needle. Sorry. You seem to have some strange physiology. Bah, give it here. I'll do it. You seize the injector and jab it into your arm without further fuzz. Cool sensation climbs into your fingertips. You doubt the medicine will have any effect, but at least it should make the nurse happy. There, I feel much better. Can I go inside now? Oh, yes. Yes, of course! You should be immune to the plague for the time being. Just be quick. The leech is very busy. Yikes. Ah, chest. Can I... No, no chest for me? What is this? Blasphemy. Mmm, bone. What? Oh, oh, oh. I'm behind. Oh, okay. Mm, nothing there. Alright. Let's go see what she has to offer. Yikes! Oh, ugh. Uh. Hey, give me all that. Yikes. I think that's our guy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait, maybe he's our guy, actually. One of them is it. I know that for sure. Bleh. <laughs> oh, sick noises. Oh, that's so gross. Uh, nothing here for me. What is that tincture? Alright. The doctor slithers from one patient to another, checking off little boxes on a clipboard. From under her wide-brimmed hat, she appears to notice you enter, but pays you no mind. You must be the leech. I was hoping you could help me find one of your patients. Do you have the symptoms? Crackling of bones? Oozing eyes? Skin rot? Perhaps a yellow liver? Let's get you examined. The leech extends her toothy snout, prodding your body and searching for some hidden malignancy. You slap her away with a swift of your palm. Psh! If it's sickness you're looking for, you won't find it on me. My dear, we're all sick with something. Whether it's a broken heart or a broken arm, we all suffer in one way or another. 
You peer through her tightly wrapped garments and see a deep darkness underneath. Despite the warmth in her words, there is a sense of hunger and urgency in her tone. I am here to heal, to mend, to put all of your troubles at ease. Now tell me, what ails you? I told you already, I'm in perfect health. I'm here to find someone, a man who came through here with a sprained ankle. Half the patients who come in here have a twisted this or a broken that before the pox sets in, sets in that is. Can you be more specific? What does he look like? Oh, I, um not sure. Well then, how do you expect me to help you? Come back to me when you know who you're looking for. You look about the sick house and at the coughing, wheezing, bedridden souls. Perhaps some of them will be able to identify the missing husband? Uh, hey, you! Ooh, leave me alone. You don't know where that short fellow got to, eh? I miss that man with the beard. Aww! It's the beardy guy you're looking for. Oh. You got a beard? This patient just stares into the distance, silent. It's the beardy guy you're looking for. You don't know where that short fellow got to, eh? Can't find the short guy? Sorry, can't help you. See over here? None of these people got beards! They're sleeping. Looks like they could use the rest, though. A husband? Yeah, he had darker complexion than me. Beard? Shorts? None of these guys have beards! You have a beard? You don't know where that short fellow got to? The patient just stares blankly. Uh. Oh! Maybe she just knows. Well, do you have any better idea who exactly you're looking for? Shorter than most. I'm going to need a bit more than that. Dark in features. Narrowing it down. Give me something else. Uh, beard. Ah, yes. I remember that poor man now. He came in with a swollen ankle, but on his journey through the swamp, he must have contracted the plague. His conditions declined rapidly. I'm sorry to say. In the end, there wasn't much I could do for him except make him comfortable. He's dead? What sort of sick house is this anyway? My condolences, really. Now, if you excuse me, I have to get back to doing what I can for the living. At least tell me where his wife might collect his body. The nurse outside seemed to be having trouble keeping track of them all. I'm sorry, that information is reserved for the next of kin. Judging by your physique, I wouldn't say you were related to the deceased in the slightest. The doctor turns away from you in to prepare vials of medicine. Better return to the old woman in the swamp with bad news. Ah, oh, I forgot! No! He passed away. Oh, we're gonna have to go find his body somewhere. Woman! I'm sorry for your louse, but he gone. He really gone. He dead and gone. In a better place. In a less swampy place, I'm sure. Uh... Where am I? I actually have no idea where I am. Uh, wait, where actually am I? I don't know how this controls work. Okay, I need to go up and right. Is this him? That doesn't look like a guy with a beard. It might be one of- is this where she was saying that she, this is where she throws people in the swamp? That is awful. Horrible. Uh, do you have news of my husband? He should have been back from the sick house by now. You bow your head in condolence. I'm sorry to say that your husband has passed away. The leech said he fell ill with the plague. Other than grief, an expression, an expression of mild annoyance crossed the woman's face. Oh, what a nuisance! You don't seem upset by the news. Well, he was getting on in years. It was bound to happen sooner or later. I just didn't think it would be from some measly plague of all things. So, where is the fool now? Not sure. The leech wouldn't tell me, but her assistant mentioned having to dispose the dead out in the swamp. Ah, brimstone and bandersnatch. I know I'm already in your debt, sister. Oh, yeah, sister, but can I ask you for another favor? I suppose I've already stuck my foot in this mess. What is it? 
there's an old circle of power just west of here. It served me well in my younger years, and I expect it's still got some juice left. I need you to dust it off and, and fire it up again. I'd go do it myself, but by the time I get there, my poor husband's body would already be reduced to worm parts. <laughs> what am I to do with this circle? You're a knowledgeable lass. The engraving on the obelisks uh, should explain the rest. Okay, I think I know what she's talking about. Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, so go west and then down. Uh, down. Down here? Yay! Okay. You brush off a blanket of thick moss and lichen from the ancient magical pattern carved into the earth. The essence of power wakes your touch, bringing slight warmth to your fingertips. Four black stone obelisks surround the ritual spot. You'll need to scrape off more overgrown decay to read the runic lettering engraved on their surfaces. Okay. The western obelisk requires a source of undead animation. Necrotic charm. Okay, what does this one need? The southern obelisks ask for a collection of bodily fluids to breathe new life into an unliving vessel. Apothecary humors. The eastern obelisks yearns for the tooth of a dragon. You haven't seen any real dragons in years, but who knows what's out in the swamp? Drake Fang. I know where the Drake is. The northern obelisks ask for proof of the dead. The afterlife is nothing if not bureaucratic. A death certificate from the leech would fit the bill. Alright, let's go to the leech first. That's the easiest one. And then, shoot. Uh, H. Grimoire. You gonna make this? Oh, brother. You gonna make this? <gasps> wow, okay. So I'm gonna need to get more blood. And pumpkin jack bone. And wicker work. Oh, I got the wicker work. And pumpkin jackbone. Okay, so we'll do everything we can while we're in the swamp, and then I'll head over to that place. Mm, I don't know how to kill the drake, so we'll probably go to the drake next. Hello? No, you're not. You're not who I'm looking for! Hey! The shadowy doctor prowls amongst the cots, eyeing the weakest patients with a dark hunger. She snaps with a quivering tentacle at you as you approach. Not a step closer. Who knows what sorts of disgusting maladies you might be carrying. Yes, yes, I'm a pox-ridden wretch, I know. But I need a death certificate from you. Specifically one of the short-bearded man we spoke about. His wife is in no condition to roll her chair through the swamp, so she asked me to collect it for her. I don't simply give out death certificates to anyone claiming to be someone's aunt, grandmother, or friend. This is a legitimate operation. She turns her back to you and rummages through a nearby medicinal closet. Now where has that serum got to? Don't tell me we're already out. What's the matter? Out of stock? It's a shame you don't have time to go out yourself. She tenses at your continued presence. What are you getting at? Medicine for the for that death certificate, I think, is that the, 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 the medicine for that death certificate. I think that's a fair trade, don't you? You would barter when people's lives are on the line. Fine, you'll have your paperwork, you filthy degenerate. <laughs> Clearly too angry to speak with you. She shoves a list of required medicinal supplies into your hand. Oh gosh. The leech inspects the barbs before placing each of them carefully into a velvet-lined container alongside other excruciating-looking instruments. Uh, dragonfly wing- oh, I'm gonna forget all this. Alright, let's work on this. Dragonfly wing, melting poultice. Mending poultice. Okay. What can I craft? Grimoire? I need to craft three of these, right? And then dragonfly stuff. Okay. That should be very easy to get. Let's do it! Hi, Anna! Welcome home! I thought you were abandoning me! I've been alone crying here all this time without you. Uh, gee. Bait stick. Oh, I have a couple. 
Mm. There you go. Come on! Come on! There we go. Okay, that's all I need. Easy. Uh, <laughs> Eurovision. Okay, Israel went to the final. I'm stumped. Aw, come on. I'm sorry. Here's your little goodies, you evil little thing. Uh, bending poultice. The leech stuffs the poultice into an unsanitary looking cabinet without a second glance. <coughs> uh, and then dragonfly wing. The leech takes the wings with a surprisingly delicate touch and lays them out carefully along the surface of a clear shelf. I've run your errands. Now I really must insist on that death certificate. There's no need to get prickly. I have your papers right here. The leech extends her moist arm and thrusts a poorly written note into your hands. You shake the mucus from the paper and try to decipher the loopy, illegible scribbles. You're not even sure that the leech spelled the poor man's name right, but you suppose it's better than nothing. <laughs> Next time I need a doctor's note, I'm better off forging the signature myself. Thank you. Bye! I'm gonna kill you! Alright, let's go find the drake. The drake is up north, and I kind of want to kill him first. Oh, I forgot! that there's, It tells me what I'm missing up here. I don't know how I can completely forget that. Oakley dokley. Uh, up here. No, not you. Don't need you. I need... What do I need? Oh, what was that? Oh, I pissed off a stick. Um, he's up here. Right? Yeah, he's up here. Hey, Bozo, what do you want? Snackrifice? The frick is a snackrifice? Okay. Uh, snackrifice. I need sporific potion. Oh my gosh. I can't craft a bottle, can I? Oh, I need a jar of water. I don't have a jar. Okay. Uh, roast beast. Uh, I need spice. I can make spice. Okay. Roast. Oh, I need campfire ember now. Great. And then... Getty cow milk. <laughs> and another dragonfly wing. Oh, no. This is gonna take a minute. Yeah, this is gonna be one of the longer ones. These ones are gonna get a little more in-depth each time, which I'm totally happy with. Just gonna be a lot of running around now. Um, I'm gonna try to get everything I need from the swamp first. Alright, here's the bait stick. There you are. Haha, <laughs> there you are. Ah, gotcha. Oh, I can take the bait stick back! I didn't freaking realize! Oh, you're telling me I wasted a bait stick? Dang it! Okay, I- okay, so let's go look at- No, how do I get back to my- I think I just have to- oh, H. Alright, I need this. Which, okay, so that requires me to go there, and then I need this. So I need to get more mosquitoes. And I think I have enough bug ichor, and I have enough frog slime, so I need to get blood. I need to get more blood. Alright, so where are the mosquitoes at? Mosquitoes are over here. Yep, there's one. Smoke pellet! <sighs> smoke pellet, smoke pellet, smoke pellet, smoke pellet, smoke pellet, smoke pellet. There it is. Oh, nice. Alright, Bozo. Huh! <laughs> That is not enough blood. Dang it. <laughs> I should have gotten him in like a group. Uh, let's see. Are we pew pewing today? I want to pew, pew. You want to pew pee? Well, that's a bit weird. Um, yeah, if you're not, you know, drunk enough. I'm not gonna. I don't know about you being all drunk or that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Now that's a double. There we go. There we go. 
What is this? What do I do with him? Spirit salts. We don't need him right now. So that's enough blood. So let's go... We need to get milk. We need to make another jar. Yeah, we got it. We gotta go. Uh, there's a teleporter here, right? It's, it's over... Yeah, it's right here. And I think there's one, like, literally right by a cow, which will be helpful. It will be so nice. Oh, I love teleporting. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. We gotta get a few things from here. You, for one. Nice. Alright, we need to make another jar to get a jar of water. Oh. Okay. Paint can make that. I need to get pumpkin jackbone. And this is enough. Okay. And then I need to make- don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, Vanessa. I need to make this. Roast beast. Yeah, that's what I need that for. And then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Nope, no embers for me to mess with here. What is that? Changeling. No, that's not what I want. What? Where is... Where is what I'm looking for? Pumpkin Jackbone? I have no idea! <laughs> I guess I'll be just like looking around. Get back here! Nice. Mm. Hopefully... How is my stream? Is my stream dropping at all? No, it looks good. Cool. Gotta double check that every now and then. Cause I'm right now my CPU is crying and throwing up at the moment. Uh yeah, it's no bueno, no bueno. Let me close out Discord and then Oh, I closed out the wrong thing. Okay. There we go. Oh, why is that still showing up? Stop. Alright. Uh Ah, here they are. Snagvine. <laughs> ah! No! No! Wait! No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Snag vine. Okay, I need twine. Thankfully, I can make it. I would have cried. Alright. Alright, you. Ew! Let's get. Can I get multiple. Right here! Nope. Oh! Nope, it doesn't count. Okay, we got it. Alright, so what else do I need? Uh, I need more of that. Ah, okay, so we can make this now. We made that. So now we just need to get some more kindling. There should be kindling. Hmm. Don't know. Here? <gasps> Yay! Yay! Come here! Bink. What's in here? Please be more. No, but I'll take it. Okay, so that's all the kindling we need. Roast beast. And let's see. Uh, just stopping by to wish you a great stream. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I can't see. I'll be ha uh, I'll be having to leave again. Oh, thank you, Famsmeister. Much appreciated. I hope your streaming has been well as well. Thanks for popping in to say that. That's much appreciated. <laughs> That's so nice. Uh, I need to go get water. That's what I need to do. And you can't get water from... A, you have to go get water from the forest. Right? I wish you could get water from the stream. That would be so much easier. Here we go. Now we have everything for the drink. No, wait. No, yeah, this is how we get in. Yeah, because we get water from this. There we go. Let me just... Let me just collect some while I'm here. Doesn't hurt. Takes a little bit more time. Oakley dokely. Okay, uh... Grimoire. Make... Sporific. 
There we go. There we go. Oh, he's in trouble now. He's screwed up. He screwed up. How do I get out of here? Isn't there like a... Well, I guess it's a portal literally up here. Yeah. There we go. Go in here. Ooh, did my live like cut out? Oh, I just saw that. Ooh. I hope everything's okay. Mm. Okay, everything sounds okay. Uh, I don't know why it says that my streaming stopped. Yikes, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's go and get the Drake. It's up here. Up here. Aw, oh, you're in for it now, buddy! You're in for it now! What do I gotta do? Shears. You're in for it now, bucko! Dinner's up! Eat, 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 eat. Aha! Snip, snip, snip. That's all I can get for now. Did you get it? I don't know where it is! Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Ah, run! Okay. So, now we can donate it all. Yay! Easy. This is why we constantly collect materials, even though I'm not collecting materials now. I'm screwing myself over for my future. Boink. A boink. Oh, golly dokely. Uh, here we go. The Western Obelisk requires a source of undead animation. Necrotic charm. You place the token of undeath into the basin. It flutters like a candle for a moment before the shadowy umbra of the obelisk snuffs it out. Oh. The southern obelisk asks for a collection of bloody fluids to breathe new life into an unliving vessel. Apothecary humors. You fill the bowl with an offering of anatomic liquids. The fluid slowly disappears as if being drained by some unseen thirst, only until the wet residue remains. Aww. The eastern ob obelisk yearns for the tooth of a dragon. You haven't seen any real dragons in years, but who knows what's out in this swamp. You drop the sharp reptilian fang into the stone basin with a heavy clunk. It spins like a top, emitting a high-pitched whine before shattering into a fine white dust. Ooh. The northern obelisk calls out for proof of the dead. The afterlife is nothing of a bureaucratic uh, death certificate from the leech would fit the bill. The humid swamp air has made the paper of the death certificate soft and damp. As you drop it into the bowl, it decomposes before your eyes until nothing is left. With the final offering accepted, the obelisks surrounding the circle begin to hum. You can hear a strange melody playing through their discordant tones. The carvings on the ground burn with renewed energy, driving away the overgrowth. You're quick, you're quick to step away as you feel a vacuous force pull at the circle's center. I suppose that's done the trick. Let's see what the writing has to say for itself now. You rotate your head to read the glowing letters on the edge of the circle. Hmm. Place the vessel of the deceased. Yada yada. Recite the evocation of necrodermis. Blah blah blah. Apply the canopic ointment. Right. Seems straightforward enough. All I need to do now is go fetch the body of that poor fool husband. He should be here in the swamp somewhere. Alright, I'm looking for a guy with a beard. Search the swamp for the husband's body. Why is it zero out of six? That's sad. I'm gonna collect some stuff on the way, but he should be. Ugh, this must be where that nurse has been dumping at the surplus of corpses. I'll need to take a closer look at each one to find the right fellow. Okay. Similar, perhaps, but not the right body. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. Eat. Can you, can you guys shut up? There we go. This isn't the right one. Okay. Come here! Uh, this isn't- um, this isn't it, unfortunate, nonetheless. Not the husband. This- the, this one. Okay. Come here! All of you. Alright, quiet. Peace and quiet, please. There we go. Mine. Mine. Not this one. This poor soul doesn't- ooh. Where on earth is that stinking body? You'd think I'd be able to find him among the dead here. You watch a particularly bloated fly land on a rotting hand poking out of the muck. Its disgusting proboscis probes at the withered flesh. Ooh! 
Two globular eyes slowly unglue themselves and swivel to boggle at the insect. Oh, a frog king! A huge slime cover covered tongue lashes out and pulls the hapless fly into a gaping toothless maw along with the most of the sunken corpses. Well, I suppose that explains where my misplaced man went. Oh, he ate him! Oh my gosh, he's huge! <laughs> he's so big! Hey, buddy! Roke, can it be? Has a lovely young morsel wandered its way to my palace? You call this filthy bog a palace? He throws his head back, shaking the swamp with a burbling laughter. Smaller frogs and newts scurry out of the way to avoid being crushed by his enormous bulk. <laughs> ha ha ha, wouldn't you? This place is a veritable bounty of insects, and my subjects have uh, such healthy appetites, so they will all grow big and strong. I'd eat you too, but that head of yours looks too hard. I prefer my food brrr, to be nice and tender. Uh, look, you wouldn't be perchance have seen. Look, you wouldn't perchance have seen an old man pass through here, have you? Uh, about yay high, full beard, deadish. The frog taps its fingers against the log, grinning an impossibly large grin. Oh yes, I do believe I've seen the chap. He had such a delectable aroma and fall off the bone ribs. Ah! But I'm sorry to say that once something goes down the hatch, it never sees the light of day again. We'll see about that. I'm sure I can come up with something with some just desserts for you. The frog king rolls his eyes around and around as if daring you to try something. Digestive tablets. Oakily dokily. Uh, I need Eye of Newt and Snail Shell. Eye of Newt. I don't know if I found any Eyes of Newt. Where would I... No! Don't hit me, please! Ow! Uh... No Newts here. I just want to collect some stuff. Uh... Here. Mm -mm. Newts? Where am I going to find newts? You would think newts are in the swamp, right? Ah! I can't go on the bridge! What happened? No! Yee! Uh, okay. Eyes of newts. Eyes of newts. Yeah, it's in the swamp. Oh, I need the snails. So how do I get these snails? Doesn't- oh, do I just- Oh. Aww. <laughs> well, I guess that works. Come here. Quick- quick croaking. Uh, clip. Boink. Clip. Boink. Oh, boink. Uh, newts, 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 newts. Where can I find me some newts? The beginning area? These are leeches. I'm sure they don't mean these guys. Are they- aren't they like in a cave somewhere? I feel like I've seen them like in a cave, no? Or am I thinking about the little well monster? I might be thinking about that. Alright, well, I'll try looking for them. Mm. No, those guys just respond. Let me see, the drake is still just so sleeping so soundly? That's cute. Oh, I need you. Sorry. Uh, uh, no. Man, there are no newts here. Ah, wait. Rotting stump. Ah, oh, I thought that was it. Nope, just a snail. <gasps> wait a minute, there's one! It's hiding! Bait stick. Ah, here we go. Oh, it's poisonous. I'll have to bait it. Oh! <laughs> he exploded! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Eww. Well, I got it. And there we go. What the frick is that? A booger? Goblin snot. It is a booger! <laughs> okay, well, it's a good thing I had a boogie on me. Uh, can I get that coal that fell? Thank you. Okay. I got your tablets, you little froggy goblin. Puke out, Grandpa. This isn't. 
uh, digestive tablets. You wrap a juicy looking grub around the medicinal tablets and offer it up to the frog king. Your majesty, I really must find the whereabouts of that gentleman. Perhaps this small tribute will persuade you to loosen your tongue. The frog gulps down the tantalizing meal without a thought. Ah, a delectable gift. Thank you, my pretty. Now I've already told you where- His nostrils flare for a moment. Then he sneezes, sending specks of wet mucus flying. The frog's throat suddenly expands, filling with gas. The belch that erupts from its lips resonates so loudly that the entire swamp seizes its buzzing. You avert your eyes, but the noise and smell of the frog's explosive eruption almost knock you off your feet. Great Glinda's ghost, what a stench! The frog wobbles on its legs, looking thoroughly emptied. He teeters before rolling its huge body back into the swamp with a thunderous splash. You spot the slippery body of the husband floating in the bog water. Luckily, he seems to be missing some bits and pieces, so he should fold up quite nicely! <laughs> what? Oh, look at him! <laughs> Stuff him in your satchel! Dang! See you later, sucker! Alright, now we go to the obelisk. I guess this is where we... Are we are we resing Grandpa from the dead? Oh, no. Oh, the circle of power is ready and waiting for its necromantic purpose. Here you go. With considerable effort, you unfold the husband's decaying body from your satchel and slap it down into the middle of the circle. Invisible shackless shackles wrap around the corpse limbs and pull it spread eagle against the ground. Strange mist rises from the obelisks, casting everything in a sickening green light. Slowly but surely, the corpse begins to levitate off the ground. It rotates to face each obelisk, one by one. Oh, oh, get on with it! I haven't gone all day! You give the rotting head a good kick as it passes by you. Oh, <laughs> ew! That's a beard! With a gasp of stale air, the body drops to the ground. Suddenly, it bolts upright. Ugh! Hey! Yeah, the freaking bug, dude! No, leave me alone! In my space! Hey, Grandpa! Well, hello there! You caused me a lot of trouble. You know that? The reanimated corpse claws at his throat. Oh, sorry. Wait a moment. Near your feet, you see a disembodied tongue flopping about the ground like a worm. You scoop it up and quickly toss it into the man's gaping mouth. Though he moves his jaw, his lurching voice seems to emanate from someplace beyond. Murderer! What? I am not. You were quite dead when I found you. No! Leech murdered me! He clutches at his hollow chest as if trying to feel his heart beating. Gave me plague! Drained my blood! Leech murdered others! He swings a limp arm towards the body-filled bog. I knew there was some awful stink about that sick house. What sort of doctor infects her own patients? Check her office! Find proof! Don't you worry. I'll make sure that Parasite gets what's coming to her. But you should head back home. Your wife is worried half to death about you. He turns and looks longingly over his shoulder. You can hear his vertebrae popping! Yes, I late. As he shambles into the choking mist, he gives you a crooked nod of thanks. Ah, all right, leechy woman is going down. She freaking is just killing people. She's a leech. Who would let her in? How did she become a doctor in the first place? That's what I wonder. Maybe she was just like, just always here, always giving the play. Like, I wonder what we gave the nurse. Well, I think the nurse isn't in on it. But, I was gonna say, what if her booster shot was actually the plague that she gave us? Ah, yeah, excuse me, don't mind me. <laughs> While the leech is busy with her patients, you rifle through the contents of the various cabinets in her office. Mostly dried herbs and potions. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. That is until you notice a suspicious looking bookcase set against the wall. The books are all fake, just chopped down spines glued to a solid plank. Your fingers race across the medical titles and quickly find a loose volume. With a click of a switch, the whole bookcase swings open to reveal a secret compartment. Ooh! 
Your heart jumps at the sight. Racks upon racks of bottled blood are arranged like fine wines. Each vessel meticulously catalogs the name, description, and age of its source. It looks like that thirsty slug's been sapping the living for years. On a nearby table, you spy a decanter half-filled with ruby-red liquid. You wonder whose blood it contains. Hmm, a dash of salt would remind that slimy worm that there's worse things out there than blood suckers. Oh! Salt the leech's wine. Oh, that's wine! Okay. Uh, let me see. Do I- please tell me I have enough for salt. Please, 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 please. Salt, salt, salt. No! Yes! Haha. <laughs> and what is that? Embalming salts. Uh, useful against bloodsuckers and bloodsuckers. Hey, eh? embalming salts. We don't have the docks. How are we gonna get embalming salts? Uh. Hey, you know embalming salts? Always remember to cover your mouth when you cough. Thanks you. Much appreciated. Embalming salts. Uh, I have no idea where I'm gonna find that. I I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just gonna keep breaking things. Oh, you know what? I think I dug it up before. If I remember right, I think it was something. I dug. Ah! No, don't hurt me! <laughs> Please, I only have two health. <laughs> Be gentle. Uh, no. Gosh, everything here just wants to kill me. Nothing. Oh, there's something we can take here. Balming salts? Come on. No. Mm. Here? Okay, so maybe that wasn't how I got it. How else am I gonna get it? Can I do something with him? Impassable Hulk, unless perhaps he likes you. Okay. So not him, because right now he doesn't like me, which is justifiable, I guess. Um, embalming salt. Oh, is this embalming salt? Because, yeah, okay. Sweet. Let's make the salt. Aha. I'm ready. You're so screwed, lady. <laughs> is this gonna kill her outright, or is this gonna be like the start? Are we just like harassing her? No, I think this has to kill her. I think this is definitely what's gonna put her into couple. Let's let's see. Oh, lady. Ah. Hey. Uh oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you specifically. <laughs> like, hey, I'm here to poison you. Uh, there we go. Right? Yes! You sprinkle a generous amount of embalming salts collected from the graves of the leech's victims into the decanter. As the salts dissolves into the bloody cocktail, you hear the telltale squelching of the good doctor's approach. What are you doing? Can't you see that this is my private office? I've already I already helped you enough, so there's no reason you ought to be here. She hastily shuffles you out of the room. Now get out! This place is only for the sick. You certainly are, you're certainly right about that. You walk just out of sight before doubling back to hide behind the withered get well bouquet. You peer at the vexed leech as she as she slithers around her office, checking every cabinet and locker for tampering. She mutters something expletive about nosy old women. <laughs> Satisfied, she sighs with relief and reaches to pour herself a glass from the tainted decanter. Ah, that addition of black fever adds a certain nutty quality. Maybe it will pair well with an infusion of peat moss palsy in the next batch. She takes a sip, waiting just a moment before throwing her head back and guzzling it all down. Ooh! Mm, lovely, sharp flavor. Full body, too. Suddenly, the leech snaps to attention. Her limbs dart out, writhing with uncontrollable gestures. She stabilizes herself against the table as sweat spools on her brow. The decanter shatters against the floor and an explosion of glass. What's happening? 
the leech spasms as the tendrils of ghostly spirits begin to suck the moisture from her body. You watch as she dwindles in size, shrinking like some horrible raisin. Ooh! Yeah, you get it, you little raisin! You inspect the mummified worm, pressing it between your fingers lightly, drained by the very spirit she was supposed to be healing. In your fingertips, you make out the faintest of heartbeats. The soul of the leech. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, that's so good! Okay, I definitely think... Oh, I don't believe it. This was happening right under my nose. Yeah, hopefully all these people will be healed. Um, I don't know if it actually changes. Maybe she's just going to be chilling there, helping though. Helping at least. But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. The last one for this uh, section will be the Ox in the Fields, which I am very excited for. Um, I think that one's a pretty good one, but I will leave that for tomorrow if I do stream tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we will probably do uh, maybe just, oh, what do you call it, Wildermyth? Yeah, I think that'll be best because I do want to get this game done because there are a lot of other games I do have planned for us. So hopefully everyone's been enjoying this stream. Thank you for joining. Thank you for all the new followers, all the new subscribers on YouTube. Much support. I can't believe I hit 12k views on that short the other day. That was crazy to me. I so much support every one of you who liked it and uh, shared it if you did. Who knows? But yeah, thank you guys for chilling out with me, playing Dreamlight Valley, and playing another chapter of... Um, this game. I forgot what it's called already. Which would, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here, and hopefully I will be here tomorrow. Alright, bye guys! See you later!